Just a moment. I put uh, some uh, ambient music. Do you hear it? On the game. Wait a second. I don't. I have. Ah, uh, I see. Uh, you would have to allow sound from row twenty. I believe. Uh, I'm using tabletop audio. You're piping it through Roll20 or piping it through Zoom? Okay. Yeah, it's a good question. Uh, Gilles, are you, like, how are you um, doing the ambient music? Is it through Roll20? Uh, no, it's uh, through a tabletop audio. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's gonna go through your. Okay, got it. I need to send you a link. How does it work? I'm not oh. sure. <coughs> okay. To be fair, probably. But do you hear anything? That's the question. No, not now. No. Okay, hold on. I'm going to try to raise the, the sound. How about this? No, I don't. No, we don't. We don't hear it. But uh, I don't think that works. Hmm. Mm. Ah, uh, it's very sad. I had super cool effect that I worked on. I heard the effect earlier. I thought I heard, thought I heard the uh, ocean wave. But maybe it was just coming through your microphone. Um, it was quite faint. Hold on. I think you can plug stuff in. Uh, no, Roll20. actually, in Roll20, there is an option to play music, and yeah, every right. player will hear it. Yeah, it's yeah. the jukebox. Yes, it's next to the eye icon. I see it. Yes. icon. Yeah. Yes. Basically, there only the GM, so only you can access the player. Yes, I did. And, and you can play anything you want from the list. And I think there is a way to upload your MP3. It's in manage okay. audio, maybe, or add new empty list. Probably. Let's see. Manage audio. Okay, hold on, hold on. Uh, hold on, because it's very cool uh, ambient uh, sound. It's bad if, pity if we don't have it at new empty list. Okay. Uh, uh, Chapelle on the cliff. Okay. Export to my audio playlist, shuffle, play, ambient. Uh, I'm so sorry. New playlist. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Uh, how do I share this uh, sound with you? Hold on. Playlist, playlist, save. Okay. In Roll20, I think as long as you play it, everybody will hear it. It's not on Roll20, it's on tabletop audio. And then I have no idea. Okay, let's try something. Yeah, maybe you're right, you can send us a link and we can listen in. Yes. Let's see. Uh, okay, I'm sending in the chat box of a link. Yeah. All righty, let's try this. Okay, playing it now. It's quite okay. nice. Okay. 
Uh, but you, you, you have the list, uh, you, you don't have what I play, right? Right now I'm playing Shadowfell. But you can go to different uh, yeah. songs, yeah. So uh, which one? Hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. I see, I see, I see what's happening. Uh, let me check. How can I share this with you? Done. <laughs> there are many cool effects, but uh, okay, I'll find I'll find a way. To, it's it's a, it's a pity we don't have it, but uh, let's. Okay, guys. So if somebody can uh, uh, bring up to speed uh, Roberto. I mean, I kind of read the journal, right? In game and out of game. So yeah. if that's what happened, then I'm kind of up to speed. <laughs> But if somebody wants to summarize, I, yeah, I, that would be appreciated. I, I, I thought that the journal was the attempt to try to get pretty much what had happened. I mean, okay. the, one one big thing that happened is that my my prior character Perrin had to um, go and take care of some personal matters, and so he left the party. And then you guys discovered a a new party member who was. Um, visiting his aunt and uh, has been invited to join the party. He's a um, I don't know, large bulky guy, carries a big sword. Ah, very, cool. very enthusiastic. All right. And are you, what race are you if it's? Human, human. You're human, okay. Hold on, hold on. Uh, video plus chat, plus chat option. Audio input source, hold on. Okay, okay, sorry, I don't know. Don't uh, <laughs> uh, worry about it. Ah, do you hear that? Hear what? This sound? Mm, not oh. very much. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, I think well, uh, another time. It's a, it's a pity, it's really a pity because uh, it's, uh, I worked on that. But okay, anyway, so uh, to, 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 um, to explain a bit uh, where we are, you, you had uh, a long journey from. Um, from the small uh, fisherman outpost uh, 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 till the Kenmouth, uh, the ruins of uh, Kenmouth. Um, could you remind me at what time you left? We left in the early morning. Okay. We sail in the early morning. I think we woke up at six. Yes. But I'm not sure which time we effectively start sailing. Uh, actually, you didn't start sailing. Oh, we didn't just... start. Okay. You start uh, walking uh, through uh, through the hills on, on a bare land that looks uh, quite desolated. Um, they told you up north you need to go, then you need to, to switch uh, to the east, uh, eastern coast. Uh, it will take you roughly four to five hours, depending on how fast you go, to, to reach the outskirts of Kenmouth. So you arrive uh, basically around uh, 11 a.m. Uh, indeed, the, the landscape was uh, quite bare and uh, desolated with uh, a few shrubs and uh, maybe some uh, some patch of uh, woods. Um, it's, it's quite sunny and um, nothing uh, looks uh, too gloomy, but it's, it's not uh, it's not joyous either. And then you arrive uh, on a, on a small top hill. Uh, and uh, down the, the hill, you see uh, in front of you, uh, um, in front of you, the, the village of uh, Kenmouth. Uh, everything is a bit in ruins, 
you don't see uh, any uh, really features uh, specific besides uh, indeed uh, uh, to your north i will put it on uh, i'll put you on the map of kenmouth village okay i changed the map it's loading You have it? Yeah, I think it's all hidden, yeah. right? Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. going to reveal. Okay. Reveal, uh, yeah, reveal. We're going to reveal. Um, reveal. Okay. How do I remove uh, your uh, avatar from the uh, Roll20? Because they are right in front of me. Mm. I have no idea. You can pull, if you go to the map pull down menu at the top, there's a red flag and you can drag that red flag over to a different map or to a blank page. I think he's talking about um, our avatar icons where video show will be. I mean the, Where there is our names Britain, Gilles, Carl, yes. Doran, Tony. Uh, but I, I think, think the most you no... can do is most you can do is minimize those and make them names only. You can do that in the in the settings section okay. towards the bottom. Uh, okay, let me see. Uh, in the game settings, uh, it's in the middle part and the first uh, oh, yeah. settings names is only. chat avatar. Names only, yeah. That's what actually I use. Yeah. Avatar. Oh, well, okay. Chat avatar. Uh, game settings, it's written in bold in the middle. You can clearly see game settings. And the first option is chat avatar. And there is there is a menu, player, video, avatar size, and you choose names only from the menu there. Okay, disappear speaking. Uh, okay, player, video, avatar size, regular, small, name only. Yeah, I use... Ah, excellent. Oh, okay. Okay. okay, okay, excellent. Thank you. So now let me reveal. Uh, up on background. Okay. What's this? What was the sound effect? Know. Yeah, there are cool effects. Was it you, Jules? No, it's not me. <laughs> I think that's a door of my apartment. It's quite noisy. That was very creepy. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> especially at night. Yeah. Uh, Damn, how do you? <laughs> it's a cool sound effect for DND. &D, yeah, that's. Hold shift to snap to grid, control Z to undo last point. Okay. Uh, polygon reveal. Okay. Are you guys on the map? Yes. Okay. Which is black? Yeah. 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 Damn it. Okay. And I need to reveal. So how do I reveal now? Reveal area. I guess. Okay. Okay. Ah. Okay. Good. Okay. But uh, but the DM is uh, oh. <laughs> starting to get a grip. Okay, so you so you got you guys uh, arrive at the entrance of the village, and indeed, actually, you have a rather a big view uh, of uh, what's what's going on, and it's uh, mostly uh, deserted, uh, uh, destroyed houses. Uh, a lot of them have uh, collapsed uh, roofs. You see uh, the sea actually, you're, because you are a bit higher uh, in a, in a small um, descent uh, from the hills. You see, uh, uh, you have a view uh, towards the sea. What is uh, uh, really obvious is that uh, nobody has been here for many, many years, uh, as we told you uh, roughly 50 years ago, some, some type of uh, uh, catastrophic event uh, happened inside the village. Um, on your south, on the south, you see uh, a, a lighthouse that uh, looks uh, standing uh, at a higher elevation. And uh, further in the distance, 
up to the north. Indeed, you see uh, some kind of uh, cliff uh, that is uh, uh, the, uh, that is uh, kind of dominating uh, the, the small village with indeed a, a chapel uh, on, on its top. So you have a weed on uh, on creeper that is covering every surface um, uh, at the harbor, uh, or what they could call a harbor. You have a leftover from the piers with a rotten wooden uh, stumps that are sticking out of the water. Well, that's about it. What do you guys decide to do? So, Kills, can I just ask the um, the cliff that you talked about? That's the one there by the water on the east, or it's a different cliff? The one where the chapel is. Yeah, yeah, no. The the the, um, the cliff is indeed uh, on the east uh, side of the map where it's returned to chapel. Chapel. I don't I think uh, no, no. It's still loading. Like it's loading very slowly. So uh, oh, 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 here we go. I see. Gonna appear in a few minutes. I, think. I see. Okay. Oh, I see. It's connected by a bridge, basically. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Hmm. It's pretty creepy. Oh, there. I mean, I guess we. All right. Where where do, where do you guys want to go first? Should we check out the chapel on the hill on on the cliff straight up? Where are we? Are we at the 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 west side of the map? Yes, you are aware of um, where the arrow is, I arrow guess. Where it's returned to Alcross. Alcross is the, mm -hmm. the small uh, uh, fisherman outpost uh, you came from. Mm -hmm. Where you stayed the night. I'm wondering, you know, if um, we get in trouble at some point, if we might want to have a, a base of operations to sort of return to and rest a safe place to retreat. That's not we... a bad idea. Actually, I was thinking we might go first to the lighthouse and see if it's safe mm. from there we can make that for base and we can probably have a good view of the mm -hmm. whole village sounds okay like a great idea to me that sounds think? good so, so the... if everybody agrees we proceed toward the lighthouse by i guess by following the road i see there is a direct road yes indeed but uh, roughly, you have a distance of uh, the lighthouse is uh, around uh, 300 meters uh, from you. Yeah, so it's not that far. Maybe a bit more. Uh, the, it's yeah. feet even. Those are feet. feet. Yeah, so probably yeah. 300 feet. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I trust you on that because I don't see the most part of the map yet. But there is a road, I guess. You're in the dark. But, but um, how do we want to, to uh, organize ourselves as we're walking through the streets? Does anybody want to take the lead, or how should we do that? I mean, if you I want there me is to four go of us. Lead, yeah. Yeah, there is four of us. I guess you can... You look big and buffed. So I guess you can stay side by side with Doran. What do you think, Carl? And I will stay in the back line with Ray. I am. I am happy to be up near the front. I'm. I'm uh, very, very honored to be uh, walking with with the great Doran. Um, I, I don't have a good deal of armor, I must say. So I'm not maybe the most uh, resilient, at least in most situations. I then I will take the front. Yeah, you I can, you can front. stay behind me. Hmm? You want to take the front? I will take the front with Doran. Okay. But remember, I can't protect you from arrows. I'm not very tall. I'm holding my shield now. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. So, protection. so yeah, we will get the front line. Will be me and Doran, followed by Cal and Ray. Got it. Return. Um, 
the, the, there is a, a gentle breeze and uh, the, the, the view looks peaceful, but uh, something is, uh, is a bit off uh, because the, there is no noise, there is no sound, and that's why it's really missing to, to this uh, landscape. Uh, it's pretty still. Uh, you can hear maybe some crowds, uh, but uh, it's, it looks like uh, life is, is very quiet and, and trying to make itself uh, as quiet as possible. I see. And you hear, of, of course, the, the sound of the waves uh, uh, crashing against the shore. So as we walk, I'll, I'll just be conscious of the the buildings that will be to our left in particular, and just trying okay. to keep my eyes out. And also trying to figure out maybe what might have happened to them, if it looks like it's uh, recent ruins or, or it's it's been like this for a long time. Or, um, All right. So as you stroll, uh, you stroll towards the the lighthouse. Indeed, uh, you you can notice uh, those buildings. Uh, a lot of them are are completely uh, destroyed, with uh, the roof uh, collapsed, uh, having collapsed. Uh, it looks it has been like that uh, for for a long time. Uh, here and there, there, there are a few houses that uh, maybe one or two that looks in. Uh, less destroyed than others, but it's, too, it's, it's all very abandoned and, and you have uh, um, vegetation growing and crawling upon the walls. Mm. As we walk, I would like to keep an eye out for any religious buildings, churches, shrines, trying to figure okay. out what okay. god they were you know, uh, worshipping. That, that's a good, uh, good uh, attention. You, you don't remark anything specific, uh, maybe uh, in, in the distance, uh, but now it's a bit uh, obfuscated by, by the, the houses you are, you are going along. But huh? there was the, the chapel that you, you could see from, uh, from uh, far in the distance. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. As uh, you, you reach uh, to the, the small crossing uh, at uh, the end the south of the path, uh, there is uh, this uh, white house that you you can see. You mean there, here? There is a path. Yes, exactly. Okay. And, <laughs> and then there is uh, this path that is uh, going up the the, um, uh, the, the, the the hill. Can someone uh, throw a perception check? Yeah. No. No. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Okay, Becky Ray is uh, just uh, admiring the, the grass and... Uh, oh, do I have to or does a anybody? Well, like, that's the highest perception here. Yeah, like I'm just basically looking at the chapel. Yes. Uh, no. Can you guys throw a dice so I can see it uh, from uh, Roll20? No. Okay. Yeah, there's even yeah. 3D dice now. It's okay. pretty cool. Yes. So it's who wants for, to throw uh, the dice? Perception. Yeah. yeah, do it Doran. So the twenty is plus one for me. So. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's uh, not take my rolls then, because it's not a good. So time. while everybody is uh, just uh, <laughs> uh, looking around uh, with no really clue of uh, what to look for, Tony notices uh, uh, right at the a bit uh, further the crossing. Where do you point? Uh, yes. Is there a way how to point? Um, uh, how do you point a, a location on the map? You hold down the left mouse button and then yeah, like this. Ping. See this uh, green circle? I'm making it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So let uh, me try. Yeah, and if you do it with a shift, that will basically center the player's view on where you click. Uh, I don't have the Positive. double key. Double click with a, a soft. Uh, uh, it's not double click. It's just a, a long uh, click on the left button, the left mouse button. Just long click it, and it will appear. Hold on. Oh. I've got the layer appearing. No. I'm wondering if I reload, like if I leave the game and rejoin, I can't see the more spark of the map. Because yeah, try reloading. That usually yeah. fixes it. 
Okay. So anyway, Tony notices uh, uh, right before the um, uh, going uh, to the ascending path, uh, a small patch of earth that was uh, uh, recently stirred and disturbed. Ah. Sorry, I didn't hear you very well. I'm, I'm saying you... that uh, as you were uh, just about to ascend towards the lighthouse, you see on yeah. the side uh, that would be on the east side yes. of a path, a small patch of uh, dirt that was uh, disturbed. I see. It, it, I, I make the party aware of it. Hey guys, check the dirt there. Dirt? What's with the dirt? It seems... It was disturbed. Let's have a look at it. Maybe it's a grave. Probably. Alright. Anyone has a shovel? Yeah, we do. Oh, cool. Okay. Well, does it look like a grave? Is there like a gravestone or offerings or anything? It doesn't look like a, 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 a real grave. It, it, it indeed, uh, uh, it's long enough to hold a body, certainly. Uh -huh. Yeah, this looks quite weird. I think we should have a look at yeah, what way they hide here. So. Well, grab a shovel, maybe it's treasure, who knows. Darren? Yeah, I have the shovel with me to yeah. start digging. How oh, please? We'll Thank you. A position at the sort of the, the corner there where you can see both to the east and then up the road towards the uh, lighthouse, just to keep watch. Okay, noted. As you start digging, it's really, uh, really a shallow... Uh... It's a shallow grave, and uh, as, as you start to, to remove a bit of the dirt that was disturbed uh, recently, you start to, to hit some bones, human bones. Watch. Is it moving or just like broken human bones? Uh, no, they're not broken. They, they, they are, uh, you, you, you reach to a femur, meaning the leg of a, of a human skeleton, apparently. Currently, the skeleton is intact, I guess. Huh, interesting. So there is indeed a body that was buried here. Maybe, oh. maybe we should check if this body has a ring. Yeah, didn't they say they had like something like a witch buried or somebody? No? Maybe not a witch. Yeah. So I assume that you exhume the, the corpse, the, the body. Well, yeah, we tried to search if it had any belongings. I don't know. Um, it's it's covered in dirt and uh, and has a few remaining rags on the uh, yellowing bones, but that's uh, that's about it. Huh. Um, the the body, the skeleton is uh, rather inert and uh, actually not that stinky because with age the the flesh has uh, has uh, disappeared. Obvious. So, if this is a skeleton, it means his body was buried here for quite some long time. Yes. But the dirt looks like it was moved recently. Yes. Mm. Yes. This is quite weird, guys. Well, maybe it does go out sometimes during the night, you know? Yeah, that's what... Like that what that disturbs like me it. too, because... It seems like this is just like the bed of Mr. Skeleton, you know, and he's resting yeah. now during the day. <laughs> uh, that's weird. Um, hmm. Just for good measure, uh, I'll take the skull. Okay. <laughs> or, well, maybe the skull isn't the best idea. Uh, had, just take one of the shin bones. I had the deja vu. I had the deja vu. You have deja vu? Okay, I'm not... Island, okay, of Monkey yeah. Island. 
you're, you're, yeah, you are completely right. I'm not taking the skull. I'm taking both the shin bones. So if it gets back up, it won't be able to actually stand. <laughs> I'll bite your kneecaps off. Yeah, yeah. Maybe the knee. Yeah. <laughs> Just take two bones that are essential to walking. Kelp wants to look around and see if he sees any other similar kind of dirt mounds. Um, no, no, not not uh, not clearly uh, from where you are. No, apparently no. It's just uh, what you have noticed. Hmm. Odd. Well, I guess. Yeah, that's it. Probably those things. There is a high chance there will be more than one of these tombs. Oh, I'm pretty so sure. So we we must be ready. I well, guess let's collect Shikuri... all their shin bones. So if they <laughs> come back up, they won't be able to come at us. I think securing the lighthouse might be really a good thing to do. Yeah, right I agree. That's, it, that's... And the skeleton's not wearing any sort of jewelry, correct? No, no, not at all. No, nothing. Uh, maybe a, a small uh, necklace out of leather, but nothing of value or, or any interest. Okay. And he has no weapons, right? It's just a skeleton. Uh, now that you mention it, you, you, you find a club uh, uh, below uh, inside the, the grave. Oh, let's take that. Let's, yeah. let's take that, yeah. Wow. Okay, clouds. so you take the club on the wet part of the, of the skeleton? I just the shim bones or whatever it's called, like the lower, like between the knees and the... And, uh, and the toes or something. Uh, okay, so the, the, the lower leg. Yeah, yeah, the lower leg part, like I'm taking... Well, I mean, I just really need the one because it won't be able to stand, so I'm just taking one. Okay, well, just one. One of the shin bones I'm keeping as a... Well, a keepsake. I don't know. Maybe it will grant us luck. <laughs> okay. Okay, one, one lower leg of a skeleton on yep, yep. the club. I wonder if I can actually use a club. No, I can't. The, the club is a uh, pretty rudimentary. It's uh, yeah, it's okay. going to do damage, but um, you probably have better weapon. Yeah. It's probably quite big for me, right? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like, I mean, there is no problem finding in the in the ruins uh, another club. Mm. Oh, by the way, have yeah. you found your your stuff, Tony? Yeah, actually, the lord of the city was quite kind to me. He sent some people to recover my stuff. I'm so happy. Okay. How are you? How are you geared? What What, what does your equipment look like to us? Uh, let me tell you. I have a chainmail now. I have a chainmail, then the shield that you got me from the previous adventure, and a uh, mace, and the light bow. Plus my, I, I forgot the, my backpack and. That's everything you see. And this, yeah, actually, you can see uh, I have a very beautiful necklace with a sun stone, a stone carved like a sun in the middle of it. That's oh, all. Sun and Ray, correct? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Sun and Ray sisters. <laughs> uh, no, the, the necklace, uh, you couldn't find oh, no. it. Uh... Oh, sorry. Yeah, it was missed. I have no necklace. Oh. Uh, we'll every, everything else, yeah. Okay, so uh, as you are wondering what this uh, skeleton is doing and just uh, trying to assemble uh, some parts uh, of it, I'm wondering whether the club uh, has to be taken or not, um, you, you, you start to realize that maybe you want to change your plan or you want to continue? Yeah, let's go to the lighthouse, right? Yeah, we okay. still want to go to the lighthouse, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, so uh, there is a, a bit of steep um, uh, steep uh, path uh, to to uh, to reach to the, the lighthouse, but that's normal. That's supposed to be really in a high point uh, to to light for over uh, uh, vessels and ships uh, coming uh, uh, to the former port. And uh, basically, it's uh, it's really a crumbling stone building that is uh, standing on top of a hill. And uh, when you reach there. Uh, you can definitely see that it's overlooking the, the town of uh, Kenmouth. A whole section of uh, one of its walls has collapsed. Oh. 
and you can hear uh, squeaking sounds uh, coming from the other side of it. So this doesn't look like this. Uh, it could be a safe house for us, right? Uh, maybe if you could uh, try to, uh, I don't know, to fortify it or just uh, maybe uh, make some uh, some arrangement uh, to, to defend it. Maybe it could be done. Yes, yes. Oh, OK. Then, guys, however, do you think we... However, yeah. uh, this lighthouse has a, a number of stairs uh, that uh, look, uh, in spite of uh, all the, the ages, uh, uh, the, the, you probably can uh, go up the stairs and go to the upper level. Um, from there, uh, maybe you have possibilities to barricade to yourself see. in case of. I see. So I guess first things first. Let's. I will open the door, and see what's inside. See if there is any danger inside. Mm. We also heard the squeaking noise. I, I understood. I'm exactly. wondering if that squeaking noise sounds like a natural or a, uh, you know, uh, or, or or some sort of animal. Uh, it sounds more like a group of animals from the back side of the building. Yes. Well, at like least the sounds came or from rats. There. Yeah. Anyway, I, I opened the door. I light a torch. Yeah, just okay, be careful, as, guys. as you open the door, suddenly a, 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 a swarm of bats uh, reach to you and uh, attacks you. Talk so. Talk yep, so. that was coming. <laughs> okay, roll for yeah. initiative. Let me roll for the, the bat. Uh... Ah, bats, there's a vampire. Okay, the bats are doing eight. Everybody roll for initiative. Uh-huh. Uh, do you guys have like your own tokens and character sheets created? No, I didn't. I have no. a PDF, but yeah, we showed actually. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I just need to remember how. Uh, the DM has to basically create character sheets for us, and then we can, you know, and then we can fill it in. But I guess it's maybe let's do that next time because it takes time. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, D twenty. So Doran is five, Tony nine. Oh, 16, look at that. Okay, Tony, Tony is nine. Uh, who is uh, Becky Ray? Yeah, 16. 16. And uh, we need the Carl. Carl's, Carl's up there, it's uh, it's higher to the first one, it's 19. 19 ah, 19, 19. okay, excellent. So. Uh, Carl, you have initiative. Carl, you have initiative. Okay, so um, I take my torch and I swing it at the bats. Okay. Uh, uh, do I roll an attack? Uh, swarm of bats. Let me let me reach. The... All right. So I've got the armor class. So what do you want to do with it? I'd, I'd like to see if I can hit it with the uh, with the torch, the lit torch that I have. Mm, uh, basically, they are rushing to you, so they are probably uh, trying as well to avoid uh, the torch, and you might have a go and try to hit them. Yes. Yeah. So I'm just trying to, you know, f uh, wave them off with the torch and hit them if I can. Okay. So it's gonna be better than my sword. Okay. Roll for it. Um. Hmm. But that would sure be uh, wisdom, or what would it be? Advantage wisdom? Mm, I think I would just do a, uh, a regular attack, wouldn't I? But um, the damage would be different. I would put uh, a bonus wisdom uh, if um, if you are trying to scare them with the torch. Okay, so it's going to be a d20 plus my attack plus my wisdom. Uh, no, plus wisdom. Uh, yeah, yeah, plus uh, attack is. Uh, plus two uh, is my attack. And yeah, plus let's do that. Yes, yeah, do that. Attack plus wisdom. Let's see. Let's do it this way. Give me one second. Let me see here. Okay, so D20. Wow. Uh, oh, wow. It's not 20 plus, uh, plus three. <laughs> wow. Okay, so do uh, 
stuff. What shall we do? Um, maybe a club attack. A D4? D4. Plus strength? Plus fire? Yeah, yeah. So I'll do D Start with a D4. This is yeah. for the actual thing. It's the one. Okay. Strength is plus four. So it's okay. a total of five. And then your discretion on five. Uh, roll a D4. So nine total. Nine total. Okay. So yes, you, you, you managed to, to hit and, uh, and kill a, a number of... Um, uh, uh, bats and also you have a critic it's critical so I will uh, double the uh, amount of uh, bats that you, you manage to kill uh, okay there's still a, a third of all the bats that uh, we are rushing out so so, I, so I, I was able to get uh, I killed about a third or there's about a third remaining you managed to kill a, a, a third Sorry. one third okay great uh, let's see so that was my attack action um I guess as a uh, my movement action, I'll just step backward. Yeah. Um, you know, a few steps. Okay. Uh, Bekire is uh, actually uh, ready to 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 intervene right after you. I think so. Well, Beck is gonna let out a ah pet and the firebolt, just okay. a a panic firebolt. Um, I'll try to hit them mm -hmm. with said firebolt. Uh, at 12 uh yeah you make it oh my god these are easy to hit all right well this is only going to be seven ray burn them uh ooh, actually wow that's 10. well that's done nine. okay you managed to to burn uh, on uh, the, the wings are burning and they're falling on the floor past you another third of uh, the swarm yeah, bless seven ray and that's my turn yeah, our next is Tony. Tony, you see your two uh, friends uh, burning the, the bats. What are you doing? I help them uh, by swinging my mace to okay. the bats. Okay. So I roll to hit. Yeah. Ooh. Wow. I guess okay. I hit, yeah. And the yeah. damage is D6. Last they do this. Okay, so they have uh, uh, damage resistance to bludgeoning, so it's uh, halved. When it's halved, it's uh, rounded up or rounded down? Down, I believe. Down, okay, so you managed to do one additional, uh, you kill one additional bat, but there are still uh, two that are going to attack. Uh, okay. When they are going to attack, let me see. Uh, Okay, let's do this. One dear, uh, the roll. Uh, the closest, uh, since they are passing through you, the closest will be Doran. Doran. Okay, that's a 16 plus 4, 20. What's your armor class, Doran? Uh, it's 19. 19. Okay, so it goes through and it does uh, 2d4 piercing damage. Yeah, I don't roll for anything because I haven't rolled yet. Everybody rolled except me. No, no, actually it's a 1d4 piercing damage. Because we are less than half. And that's a 4. Okay, you take 4 damage. Okay. 4 damage on Doran. Okay, I didn't do anything yet, but okay. Yeah, your turn. Uh, my health just to the right. And uh, um, we have two left. You said we have two left, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna throw my alchemist fire at, at both of them, I guess. Uh, they are flying together, I assume. Because it's a sword. Yeah. So, uh, I'm not sure. It's just 1d20, I guess, because it's throwing an item. Or it's how, how the. I'm throwing my alchemist fire. It's an item. So. Mm. Do I, what do I roll for that? What do you want me to roll for that? That's 1d20. Uh, yeah, go for one D20. Yeah. Let's see if you hit. Yeah, you're here. 
Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, my bad. All was, right. I'm so that's a swim. But anyway, they're yeah. flying away. They are running away. The bats are. Uh, the swarm is uh, is almost decimated. So they are running away. Yeah. End of the combat. Oh. Our first combat together. We defeated the enemy. <laughs> that was glorious. They want to run. I, we need some bigger enemies. I actually watched yeah. the team and say, whoops, sorry. <laughs> Bless Saturn Ray. <laughs> All right, so you have the stairs going up. Yeah, let's let's have a look upstairs. Maybe we can have a good view yeah, of but the village. Please be careful. Yeah. I'm careful. <laughs> I'm quite careful. Just unlucky. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, those are stairs uh, that uh, were made of uh, stone on, uh, on uh, bricks uh, glued together with uh, mortar. And uh, you have basically uh, up to two levels of stairs uh, to, to climb to reach a, a small platform that can contain, uh, uh, accommodate for roughly uh, five people. Mm. Uh, and uh, you have reached the, the top of a lighthouse. And indeed, you have a plunging view, a diving view uh, on the village. Uh, you can see uh, some uh, some buildings that are uh, a bit bigger than others, uh, probably a city hall. Um, wh 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 where do you look at? Well, we're definitely looking this direction. Can you see my mark? Yes, I'm going to reveal. Yeah. Just a minute. Uh, huh? Okay. So you see in the north, uh, absolutely a uh, direction towards the marsh. Um, do you look a, a bit more in detail or what, what do you want to do? Is this a farm? Oh, that's a very good uh, uh, question. Actually, you notice uh, one small cabin in the distance that look uh, much well preserved uh, than all the other uh, buildings uh, below. Huh. Oh, that's very eccentric. Yeah. Yeah. Can we see any smoke or anything coming from the building? No, you don't see anything. Uh, but uh, on the way to there, actually, there are part of uh, uh, the, the region really, uh, the region, the area really looks uh, like marshes. Ah. Mm. And uh, up the north, you also have a direction towards the marshes. And uh, you, yes, over there, you notice uh, a small mound. Well, it's a, it's not exactly a hill. It's a smaller than a hill, but it's it's a distinguishable feature um, that you notice as well. Mm -hmm. And I suppose I, I suppose the chapel is too far away. No, the chapel is uh, really on your um, ah. on your um, on your left you. towards the east side. You see uh, indeed a small uh, small building. Um, it is not as small as uh, the, the, the houses in the village. It's maybe as big as the, the biggest house uh, in, the, in the central mm -hmm. part of the village, indeed. Is the chapel like destroyed as well, kind of ruins? It seems that the, the walls are, are standing and it does look like a, a chapel, yes. Okay, cool. So guys, I have a few ideas. Okay. First things, we must decide if we really want to fortify the lighthouse or not. But for sure, I really want to see... I'm really curious about this area. Mm -hmm. So, I suggest... Yes. yes? I suggest to the group exploring this area by not actually walking in between the village. Take like this path to avoid an issue in the village. What do you think? I was fine with that idea of wondering, maybe thinking a little bit about the time of day and where we want to be at nightfall. Yeah. <laughs> we should probably try to explore as much as we can during the daytime, I agree. So you want to explore the village? Um, well, no, I mean, I like the idea that there's this cabin in the marshes, so I think we should go through the village and aim for that cabin. 
uh, and well, the cabin is in the north. Uh, yeah. yeah, I mean we have to go through the village anyways. Uh, what time is it? Is it still like high noon? It's a uh, it's a quarter to noon. Okay, so we have a lot of time until night, and I guess when night, well, before night falls, we can just come back to the lighthouse and just have a couple of hours to fortify this this place. Isn't better if we fortify it now? Yeah, but okay. How do you want to fortify it? That's it's a good question, good remark. Can someone throw a, a wisdom check to understand uh, what type of work uh, will be necessary to fortify it? Sure. I you're, will roll. You're the cleric. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not very smart. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, mm. Well, just, yeah, the cleric turns to you and says, uh, I don't know, I don't know, I really don't know, it's, yeah. it's not a religious temple. You just no, haven't I, built the Actually, I will say, of course, I know how to fortify these things, we just fortify it. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, so just, just to make things clear, we have three options, basically. The village behind us, the marshes, uh, and the cabin at the north, and the lighthouse, which I assume is next to the chapel after we cross the bridge. Is correct? Hmm? Like what we are designing now is like there is a village behind us and there is a cabin in the marshes to the north and there is a chapel and the lighthouse I think is next to the chapel across the bridge. Sorry. Well, the lighthouse is here right where we are at right now, correct? Yes. Yep. Oh, okay. I thought it was next to the chapel. Yeah, yeah, we are here. Yeah, so we have the lighthouse. We're just trying to figure out how to fortify it. Yeah, the only problem is one wall fall down. Of the lighthouse the only good thing is that from what i understand in the event we get attacked we can protect the stairs and stay yeah, that's it i yeah. guess unless, so, we f yeah. <laughs> unless we find something else that's better defendable on the way yeah i guess then i will follow the idea of my best friend forever and let's I mean, go to the village. Don't don't get me wrong. I like the the idea of fortifying it, but I mean, I'm just a little girl. I don't know how to do these things. <laughs> yeah. no, I don't know. Dig some traps. Is anybody good with traps? Okay, let's go. I guess. No, no, <laughs> you don't have a sieve. No, I mean. Yeah. Technically, if, if we get attacked, we can just come back here and hold the stairs. I mean, that's already a bottleneck if someone wants yeah. to, you know. Or we can blow up the stairs if, like, there's a swarm of stuff. I don't know. Oh, we had, uh, I actually, I bought some oil last time. We can just spray the oil on the stairs and if something tries to come Oh, amazing, so and can I can blow it up. That's great. Yeah, yeah so, so, so we can die inside. That's nice. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, not, not that much oil, just a little bit. If somebody tries to climb the stairs, we can just burn them on, on spot. Yeah, yeah, that's good, that's good. Okay. Not to burn yeah. the whole place, yeah. All right, to the cabin. Away. Doran is too smart okay. for how many muscles he has. So you guys yep. are getting down the stairs. Uh, it's a bit narrow, but uh, you are making step by step uh, your way uh, down. And uh, you reach out of the lighthouse, still the same uh, nice uh, sun on a nice weather, but uh, still no, no real sound of life. Uh, and uh, you are taking the same path uh, back uh, towards uh, where you, you came from. Could you point me uh, to the direction? Uh, who is leading? I guess it's either Tony or Doran. I, think I will lead. Was, yeah, I will lead. I'm right behind so, you. I guess. Oh, I like this. Yeah, How are you, you doing it? Uh, so you do the the fourth one from the top. It's the ruler looking one, and then you can. Ah, I, see. Yeah. I see. Uh, can you just click, uh, uh, click with uh, the circle? It's, it's, it's nicer for me, otherwise. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but actually, this is what I, what I was thinking of doing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah do this. It's easier for me to, to notice. Uh, or you can happened. draw stuff, but then okay. it's, you know, I don't know. Where, where are you exactly? So we want to move toward this area of the village, right? Okay. So we 
start yeah, from so, here. Okay, you start oh. getting down on you, you, you manage to get to, to the crossing, nothing really uh, surprising. That's uh, where you came from. And, uh, and then you reach to the place where you have disturbed the skeleton uh, and it's still yeah. lying in the open grave. Uh, nothing has really moved by the White House. Uh, and you decide to progress okay. then further inside the village. Yes. Yeah, and we want to give a, actually a quick look at the houses without going inside. Okay. Just... What are you looking for exactly uh, for the houses? Uh, what do you mean by a quick look? Quick look if there is anything odd, any sign in the house, or uh, if we see any religious sign, symbol, things that are out of place. Uh, there is no nothing really uh, out of place, and uh, you notice actually uh, that's uh, quite uh, easy to to see a small stone building in better shape than uh, the other buildings uh, in the village, and uh, but the, the roof has, has fallen uh, a few decades ago, but the, the walls are, are there. Uh, actually, it's a, it's a, it's a, there is a, a plate, and it's a it's a smithy. Uh, house. Um, apparently, is uh, it was there that uh, fish hooks uh, were were made. Not those fish people again. <laughs> hmm. Should we investigate the stone house? Mm -hmm. I guess yes. Yep. That building looks old. Let's have a look at it, guys. Okay, so the, the building is a bit in, in, in data shape, as I said. So you 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 pull open the door. Uh, there is a, a creaking no noise, uh, like and a bit of uh, uh, dust uh, falling uh, from uh, from the door. And uh, you hear something thumping. Pumping, pumping. Yes. yes. Did you hear that, guys? Um. Let me check if I hear that. Uh, probably not. <laughs> well, it, it's okay. There is no. It, it's not uh, so difficult to hear, but there is uh, really uh, some pumping. Uh, like uh, something pushing on a bit growling. Uh. I have uh, another deja vu. <laughs> yeah. I think, guys, seems like there might be undead things inside here. Mm. What should we do? Uh. Uh, hey, Doran, do you? sense anything out of ordinary okay let's use my divine sense to see if there is anything uh you know evil or weird around here or, yeah okay i'd like to use my divine sense one time now to check for any evil presence uh, or can, can you tell me if i sense anything yeah uh yes you do sense something uh which which direction which way um it's uh it's uh, beyond the, the the type of man on transfer that you uh, you have entered it's in the pantry huh. i'm sorry I, I can't hear you one more time please it's inside the, the pantry what looks like the pantry uh okay uh is it uh, like an undead because if it's an undead i would know that or a fiend yes it's uh, in indeed a uh, undead uh, creature uh. okay I turn to everybody and they say, okay, we have an undead inside, guys. <laughs> we have an undead situation. Well, Tony, your senses were correct. Of um, course it's correct. I mean, yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> mm. All right, on what the count of three, we exercise this demon. Okay. Okay, who wants to open the door? I will, of course. Okay. I just hold my shield and protect everybody yeah. behind me. I, I ready my shield and I, in a defensive stance that has no impact in the rules, I just open the door 
Okay, could you guys uh, describe me how you organized? Who is first? Who is opening the door? Who is casting what? Who is in the back? Tony is opening the door, so okay. she's the first one. Okay. Yes, I, I guess Duran can be immediately behind me. Oh. Okay. Okay, so I, I'm gonna cast uh, a spell. Uh, okay. I'm gonna cast uh, Armor of Agassiz, which uh, basically uh, gives me five temporary hit points. Okay. And if anything hits me during for one hour, it's gonna take five cold damage. Okay. Hmm. What about the Kire on the Cal? I'll stand in the back and just ready a firebolt. Okay. Cal will stand, uh, you know, to the side of the door, ready to, ready to just, you know, figure out what the situation is as soon as anything starts. Okay, got it. So uh, let's roll for initiative, everybody. <laughs> wow, I, can, I re roll. I re roll. I re roll that. Yeah, you're oh my god. Uh, okay. we, That's bad, got huh? we all got two. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm like... uh, actually, we could have done at an advantage for Tony because uh, you are taking the initiative to open the door. Okay, then I re roll another one. Ooh, yeah. Oh, nice. Well, that makes sense. Okay. We should, we should make you just roll everything today. Doran is two. Wow, okay. Yeah. I'm Carl, what's your role? Let me check. Six, okay. Okay, as you open the door, you see uh, a small uh, creatures uh, with uh, long hair and uh, with uh, skin that is really tightly um, uh, stretched uh, along the, the, the bones. Uh, that is, uh, holding uh, some kind of fish net that is rushing to you. And uh, screaming in a hysterical dark, uh, dark voice. It's the tentacle monsters again. Okay, what? so Tony, you have a, you, you have an action you, because uh, you managed to do a twenty. Yes, uh, she's she's charging me, right? Yes, she's so charging. I'm going to cast a spell. I'm okay. going to cast a protection from evil on myself and okay. be ready for the impact. Okay. It's automatic, yeah. right? No? Yes. Okay. Protection from evil means that if this creature mm. is an undead or a fiend or a fey or an elemental or a celestial or an aberration, mm. I can't be charmed, frightened or possessed and mm. they attack me at this disadvantage. Okay. Also undead, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. And so that was my ne action. Next is uh, Bekire. Again, with a scream, I release a firebolt. Okay. Because <laughs> I'm scared to shit. <laughs> Alright. It's 13. super effective. Yes, 13, it's a hit. Okay. Uh, and. Uh... <clears throat> It's a measly free fire damage. Okay, so the, the creature uh, takes a, a free uh, hit points. Now the creature is going to attack because she's third. Uh, and I run back. At a disadvantage. So that's a 13 plus, uh, uh, where is it? Plus uh, five because she's throwing um, uh, a net with hundreds of uh, fish hooks that were soon to it. Mm -hmm. um, that's a 13 plus a 5, that's a 18. F Tony, how much? what's your armor class? 21. Okay, so she misses. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Thanks to that amazing shield we found. Yes. Next is Cal. Cal, uh, on uh, our next action, is go she's going to rush to Doran. Oh, how far is it from me, by the way? Uh, it, sure. it went past uh, past Tony, so Tony has an opportunity attack, and uh, it goes okay. for you, Doran. So I will do my opportunity attack yeah. with my mace. Yeah. I'm so sad that I couldn't block her. 
Well, you opened the door, so... Opened You're the a halfling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah no, no, yes. I'm joking. We, we, we didn't so... enough for a halfling, actually. We did too much for a halfling, which is good. Yeah. What do you mean for an halfling? Are you being racist? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm saying you are actually, like, really I'm joking. powerful. I'm More joking, Doris. You don't, you, okay, you don't uh, while you guys are arguing, so. uh, Tony missed uh, her uh, opportunity attack next. No, I rolled it already. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Uh, okay, yeah, what do you do? It's Carl's turn. You have this, uh, this horrible little uh, creature that uh, is a uh, humanoid with uh, rags, uh, with uh, yellowish skin uh, on uh, on it, that is rushing to Doran. All right, so it's, Cal it's Cal's turn, so Cal will swing yes, his... Cal will swing the sword at the, uh, the creature. Okay. Um, Cal will use um, both his reckless attack and his great weapon master in doing that. Okay. So reckless attack means I can attack at advantage, but I have disadvantage on attacks against mm -hmm. me on the next turn. Okay. Uh, great weapon master means I'm attacking at a negative five to my attack, um, but I get a plus 10 to the damage. Okay. So I'll roll twice for the attack to see what yeah. happens. That's one is a 19. The other is a critical. A wow. 21. Okay. So we'll do the critical. So let's take a critical. We'll roll the damage, uh, which I guess I will roll twice. Uh, whoops. How does this work? One second. Here we go. And wow. Again, 24. So it's a 44 That's damage. Wow. Uh, okay. Oh. So <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good you really cut the, this uh, creature in two, and, uh, and uh, she collapses uh, on the floor, uh, completely dead. No, there won't be any more uh, problem from from us. And you guys had a good scare about uh, this uh, these creatures. And um, what do you decide to do? I would like to check this creature and investigate which kind of yeah. creatures we just fought. Okay, that's a good one. So you are searching uh, uh, for uh, inside a body, and actually you you notice it's a ghast. I see. It's not a it's not a skeleton. It's a ghast, and uh, it's a bit rotting. And uh, you you find a, a small um, a golden talisman and a, a necklace with a. Uh, a small plate, a small, uh, it, could, it looked a bit silvery, and uh, there is a name on it, on uh, another uh, uh, object that looks uh, very different from uh, everything this, this uh, gas could own, that is, uh, as I said, a golden talisman with uh, uh, a face with three eyes. Does this talisman remind me of anything religion related? Uh, you should uh, uh, roll uh, DC 11 intelligence for history. Okay. Not religion, history. Okay. Can I also roll for that? Because uh, I'm a paladin as well. I have religion. Yes, it's, it's history. You, it's not. Uh, you, you don't. Yeah, yeah. Understand. I roll a three. I roll a three. Okay. Oh. Can I roll for this one as well? Because I still I also have religion. Yeah. So you are looking over Tony's shoulder. Okay. Uh, let me roll for that. And it's on. Never mind. I, I didn't get <laughs> anything today, but about mm -hmm. 10, actually. So you guys are looking at this subject, and it doesn't say anything to, to you uh, very... Uh, you, you said how oh, I prefer the, uh, the necklace uh, she has, and it's, uh, I'm sure it's silver, and it's probably worth uh, 500 uh, gold, gold uh, uh, piece. Okay. Since so it doesn't seem anything the drunk, to uh, The drunk necklace that you, you are saying, uh, you are saying uh, huh. it's probably uh, worth a lot of money, and it's written R-U-T-H on it. R-U-T-H. Uh. Uh. Okay, let's take it, I guess. Yeah, we'll see it later. And you discard uh, what, uh, with the free eyes, you, you think it's uh, probably uh, worthless. I guess. <laughs> Not only you now. discard it, but with rage, you, you throw it in, in the ruins. Uh. That will, it will not be found again. Okay. 
So uh, I would like to check inside this. Yes, absolutely. So there, house. there's really uh, uh, a lot of tools that uh, you could expect from a, a, a smith. And uh, in particular, uh, you see uh, many uh, fish hooks uh, that are uh, hanged uh, on, on the walls. Uh, they are rusting. But um, uh, on your uh, right side, you see a furnace that is uh, more or less uh, intact. Hmm. Hmm. Is there anything inside the furnace? No, uh, you look okay. inside and uh, you, you don't uh, see anything particular. Below you have a place uh, where uh, the coal uh, would be put, but apparently there is no, no coal uh, to be seen around. Mm -hmm. It seems like it hasn't been used for a while. Yeah, I, I wonder what that's... Not for 50 years, yes. Yeah, right, okay. I wonder what that guest was doing inside here. Probably she was the shop owner or something. I have no idea. Yeah, I mean, it's strange. <laughs> Well, I guess we can proceed, guys. Maybe we want to check the mayor house. The mayor's house? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Whatever well, that is, sure. Is this one right? The big one? Yeah, so yeah. you are heading towards uh, the house that looked uh, the biggest. Um, the second floor uh, of uh, this building uh, uh, has collapsed. Uh, and, it, and there is a bit of uh, timber uh, that uh, appears in the sky when you look up. Uh, on the floor you have a broken furniture rubble. And uh, when you look a bit more inside as you, you proceed uh, more cautiously, you see uh, a skeleton that is uh, wearing a rusted chain mail. He has a torn uh, tabard, meaning a uh, torn clothes of uh, some kind of official, uh, maybe soldier, on a well-preserved shoulder bag um, that is uh, on him. And uh, when you glance uh, a bit, a few meters away, you see uh, a sword that is uh, lying there. He is not animated, right? He's just laying down? Yes. Seems that this was a, a guard. Mm. Uh, it, it looks like the, although uh, those are racks now on the on the chainmail, is is totally rusted. Uh, that uh, he was a, a bit more uh, important than just a, a than a just guard. a guard. Maybe okay. the captain of the guard. Maybe the mayor. Poor guy. Hmm. Does he have a weapon on him? Yeah, there no. is a sword. There sword. is a sword next to him. A, a couple of meters away from him. Alright, take the sword and uh, yeah, let's. And I'll grab another one of you know the leg bones. Uh, <laughs> just to to mention, the, the sword is all rusted and probably of no interest to you. It's just like. Yeah. I think he wants to take it to make sure the yeah. skeleton won't use it. I see. Okay. I don't okay. trust anything here anymore. Um, so he's got a bag on the a bag. Yeah, we can check the bag. Yeah, check the bag. So as you you start searching the, the bag, you see that it contains a thirty-five gold piece. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Two small citrines worth ten gold piece each. Ah. Hmm. A crowbar. Oh, that's useful. A hammer. A pick axe. Ten pythons. A tinder, tinder box. Sorry, a tinder box. A water skin. It sounds quite familiar. Uh, it's like an adventurer's equipment. 50 feet of rope. Tom checks his backpack curiously, <laughs> making sure that it didn't just somehow transport into this guy's bag. <laughs> okay, 50, 50 feet of rope on a leather bound journal. 
This guy used to be an adventurer like us. He's got a journal, yes. Uh, just uh, one word about the bag, actually. The bag is quite special. And if someone has a bit magic, maybe you could check it. Uh, it's Ooh. not a magical check. Wow. I'm magical. Uh, yeah. I'm a magical girl. Let's see. Okay, roll for it. Well, let's see if it works. Woohoo! No, really. Well, it's not really uh, fashionable, but uh, it looks fresh inside. Fresh. Okay. Let me roll for that as well. Is that magical? Yeah, I got an eight as always. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, you put your hand uh, as well on. Uh, yeah, my hand feels fresh inside. So basically, one question is: all the things we found inside the bag were good preserved, right? Uh, maybe not as as good pres uh, as well preserved as uh, from the week, but a lot well, uh, a lot better well preserved than if it had been for fifty years inside. Uh, yeah, definitely. So uh, that's quite weird, guys. Does it feel this like cold a inside sword? or chilly? No, fresh. Okay, like... it's a bag of freshness. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's take it anyways. I mean, that's useful. I'm going to roll with Tony if, to see if Tony understands what the bug, this bug is. But yeah, I'm the smartest person in the world. Uh, any idea. It's definitely not a LVMH uh, type of bug. I don't like it. That's, uh... Yeah, I don't like it. This bug is useless, guys. No, it's cool. Let's take it. It's unfashionable. Okay, so I, I guess Doran can take it because he seemed to have the most interest in it. No. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm interested in the hammer most like, so, specifically. Okay. According to according to the content we found inside this bag, I guess this guy was not just a guard or a royal guard or whatever. He was probably an adventurer that died here or a, a warrior that died here. So. Probably there is something dangerous inside this house. Yeah, and maybe, well, hopefully he didn't come here alone, so there might be some comrades of his around. Inside. Maybe Doran. alive or dead, who knows. Doran, yeah. can you use one of your special amazing powers to see whether this house is safe or not? Is that the same place, or did we switch places just now? We but... moved. We moved to the Meyer house. This place here. Oh, wow. it was too far away from that. Okay, okay. I'm gonna use divine sense again. Okay. So, uh, is there anything evil here around it? Is it uh, 60 feet around the mayor's house? Um, no, you have, there's nothing uh, that you detect. Let me check something. Um, no, no, no. 50 meters, you said? Uh, 60. 60. Um, no, no, not in particular. Okay. There is nothing around, guys, that, like, feels evil, I guess. Okay, then let's have a look, guys. Do you yeah. mind if I open? Do it. Yeah, sure, so we have this information as last time, I'm guessing. If you open so, what, yeah. sorry? The door to the Meyer house. Uh, okay. Uh, I, actually, there's no really. Uh, you're inside with this building. Sorry, you are already. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. I misunderstood. I thought we were in front of it. No, no, no. Oh, you're already see. inside, and that's where the the, the, the the skeleton was lying among the, the debris. I see. I see. So yeah, we just have a quick look uh, inside the house and see if there is anything interesting or useful. Uh, as I said, it's uh, mainly uh, it's debris, uh, uh, broken furniture. Uh, I see. Fallen t timbers. So, guys, shall we proceed toward the hut? Here? Yep. Yep. So, yeah, we take this road, Gilles. Yes. Uh, hold on. Uh, among the, um, uh, the, the the content of the bag, uh, let me remind you, and you tell me what you take. There were 15 gold pieces, two small citri uh, citrines, citrines worth 10 gold pieces each. A crowbar, a hammer, a pickaxe, ten pythons, a tinderbox, a water skin, 
50 feet of rope on a leather bound journal written uh, with a zero risk journal. They want to read the journal? Uh, yeah, it's a good idea, actually. Is, is there anything inside the Tinder box? Uh, you can open it if you want. Yeah, I, I open with. Huh, hopefully, there won't be a trap, but yeah, I open it. No, you, you find a, a small piece of um, hair on, uh, on probably some souvenirs uh, that uh, the guy had uh, on, uh, held uh, dearly. Held dear, sorry. I see. Let's check the journal then. Uh, as you start to, to check uh, the journal, there is uh, actually a violent uh, uh, slamming noise that uh, startles you. Mm. Yeah. And uh, you look in the direction where it came from. And you see an uh, old uh, wooden shutter swinging in the wind. <laughs> Moments later, there's yeah. a strong, strong gale that caused the entire building to tremble. And mm. the wooden beams above you make horrible creaking noise. I run immediately. Let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I ran out. Right outside. I ran yeah. out screaming. Okay, so that's good because uh, as you go out of uh, part of uh, the building that was still uh, left standing is uh, crumbling on, uh, with uh, a lot of noise on dust. Uh, the the, the fallen planks uh, hit the ground. Okay. Great. Let's not check right. any more houses and just go to the cabin, please. Yeah, I agree. But yeah, yeah we can it. read the journal on the way. Let's let's check the journal outside of the house, yeah. And I I, I would you rather are outside stop. the house, no. Yeah. Okay. So as you you browse through the, the journal, you, you 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 kind of it's still readable, but uh, most of it is uh, is quite boring. He talks about his love for a married woman, his job as uh, chasing uh, petty thieves or breaking off fights uh, between a uh, drunken fisherman and so on and so on. I However, uh -huh. the last pages contain something more interesting. It reads like that. Thomas is nothing but a clueless bigot. That poor girl, Eldimira, isn't a witch. She's sick or cursed. This man is going to kill an innocent girl. He should be looking for facts, not praying for answers. Yeah. You, you go through a, a few pages. Hold on, hold on. You go through a few other pages and you read a bit more. Today is a sad day for Ken Mouth. Thomas Morphon got his way and Edel Mira died for nothing. That imbecile even left her there, hanging on the old Rowan tree. He said he needed to make an example. Maybe I should start looking for another job in a more hospitable place. Uh -huh. And then you look at the last entries of the journal. I was right. I showed the ancient looking necklace Edelmira was wearing to a merchant passing through, and he said it was an Ilmer artifact. I went to the marshes, and someone pillaged the barrow mound. There's no way Edelmira could have moved the massive stone door sealing the tomb on her own. She must have had help. And if she was under Nilmer curse, the others probably are too. Do you see any connection between the pendant written in his journal and the pendant the woman we the monster we killed had? Guys, could it be the course was driven by people wearing that pendant? Hmm. Pendant with the free eyes, huh? I think so. I mean, yeah, Ray feels real pity because she understands how it's 
how what what it's like to be a magical girl and you know being misunderstood as a witch. Um, mm, yeah, she feels anger and pity, and she wants to get to the bottom of this. I think that girl was definitely killed unjust. Hmm. But I'm sure that well, we need to find out what god or what that that free-eyed pendant resembles. Maybe we we'll find sure the answer in the cabin, I guess, because yeah, it's something no about marshes, right, right? Yep. It throws like the pendant away, right? We throw the pendant away, right? Yeah, we throw it away. Yeah. Because it was useless. So yeah, Gilles, we we would like to proceed toward the cabin. Okay, so uh, you are still wondering what those uh, few lines that you read uh, um, in, the, in the sheriff's maybe uh, journal meant, uh, but it I resonates think... uh, inside you uh, very strangely, like uh, some injustice uh, was done on uh, you are actually visiting a village uh, that uh, has committed uh, some serious offenses. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Also, they mentioned, I guess, a cave or something that was all blocked by a big stone. Hmm. And I guess oh, wow. that could uh, be in the marshes. Yes. Can you yeah. do an um, intelligent check? Sure. I'm not very smart, but I can do that. So maybe somebody could make an <laughs> intelligent check instead of you. I'm not very smart either. Uh, no, not me for sure. Uh, anyway, I rolled. I rolled a 10. Okay. <laughs> Do you have any bonus or something? Um, I'm not very smart. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, look, it's I have... Horrible. Okay, so you're I... asking... Oh, it's really horrible, oh, poor girl. I have plus one intelligence, let's see. Maybe. Uh, minus, actually. Yeah, no. Yes, she's no. very, very sad. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe Sad. let's all roll and see if somebody gets anything good. Yeah. yeah. Well. Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah. We'll figure it out later. No. Oh, yeah, never okay. mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's life. life. That's day. life. <laughs> we'll figure it out later. Don't worry about it. Okay. So you guys are progressing towards the, the north uh, part. It's uh, roughly yeah. uh, maybe uh, now 12.30, 12.40. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess it's like summer, is it? Like, yeah, yeah. When can we expect the sundown? Uh, maybe <laughs> 6.30, 7, if it's cool. all natural. All right, if, if it's all natural. <laughs> Okay, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe later. Actually, uh, it's, it's a bit uh, right. summery. Just yeah. keep an eye on the sun, guys. No, where dude. are you guys? Can you come? Someone point to me where you are. You are progressing where? Out to yeah, the cabin. This area okay. toward the cabin. Okay, yeah. so you progress uh, cautiously. I take, uh, I take, or you just? Uh... Yeah, definitely caution. I mean, not me. I'm going forward. So okay. it's up to the team. <laughs> yeah. So what is the first is Tony, then uh, you yeah. are working working with uh, Cal or um, yeah, working with Do think. with Doran. Yeah, with Doran. Doran, yeah. yeah um, I'm, I'm cl closing is uh, Becky Ray and uh, Yeah. Cal. Well I am hiding behind Doran, I'm scared sh I'm scared shitless. <laughs> okay. Um good. Let me check something. Uh, so you're progressing, and now definitely the vegetation looks uh, a bit different on, on the noise. Uh, although it, there is no noise, but the, the noise of the uh, marsh are, are becoming uh, more more familiar to you. Um, more creatures uh, from the marsh. Um, so you, you are progressing a bit. 
but uh, it's, it looks like it's uh, quite difficult going because uh, instead of a path, actually, uh, it does look a bit different from um, uh, from what uh, from the, the, the other side, uh, from each side. But uh, vegetation has taken over a bit uh, this this path, so it's a bit difficult to, to go through it. It would be uh, some sort of uh, half, uh, half going, difficult going. <sighs> I wish we had our ranger friend with us. <laughs> I see. How tall is the grass? Uh, probably up to the, uh, the waist. So you're gone. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I, I look at Doran. Uh, it's a bit embarrassing, but do you mind uh, lifting me? Yeah, sure. I don't mind. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we have Doran uh, that is uh, encumbered uh, uh, with Tony uh, yeah. behind uh, Cal and uh, Becky Ray uh, following. Uh, okay. I think if I'm holding him, I probably can't just like like hold the shield up front. So I will just uh, hold my halberd only, and mm -hmm. I'm gonna act like cut the grass with my halberd like in front of us. So if there's anything, my halberd will just like pump into it before we actually. Like, oh, that's good. You know, uh, to you, uh, although it looks uh, rather close in terms of uh, flight, uh, flying distance, uh, it looks like it's going to take a good uh, 40, 45 minutes to go there. Mm. There's lots of cutting grass. Now. Okay, let yeah. me check something. So you are cutting through the grass on, on the shrubs, and uh, you have mosquitoes that are uh, kind of uh, making their presence felt. Uh, and I need to check something. Uh, I need, sorry, I need this. And this. I can ambush. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this feels pretty bad, guys. That's <laughs> six vampires. And then uh, out of uh, the bushes uh, rises a big, uh, big uh, insect that you can identify as sturges. And there are oh. six of them. Oh, holy shit. Not sturges. <laughs> are, are they are they flying or just walking? No, they're flying. they're flying and flying towards you. So you roll for uh, initiative, yeah. guys. Oh, they're basically blood sucking bats. I yeah. oh, I immediately jump off. I immediately jump off the Doran. Just okay. Don't yeah, jump on me. Finally, I got a good roll. Finally. So Doran, Cal is what? Doran is seventeen. Okay. Yeah. Nine. Becky Ray four. Oh. And uh, who is next? Tony is nineteen. Okay. Who will go first? Uh, Tony or uh, Doran? Uh, sorry. Hmm? I, I guess Tony. I think I Tony. Tony. Nineteen. Tony. Um, yeah. Cal, what's uh, your no. Cal is nine. Okay. Okay, okay. got it. So uh, the stages are. 16. So it's Tony first. Okay. okay. I I think me and uh, like yeah, me and Tony can attack together because I'm holding him basically. But I jumped off you. I jumped off you. Ah, okay. okay. Yeah. So I I move over Doran and try to engage at least one of them. Okay. And smash it with my mace of justice. Okay, we are tiny beast. Yes. So I will roll to hit. It's a fifteen. Okay, it goes through, and uh, we won't roll for uh, for damage because it's a uh, HP ah, okay. two. Yeah, so you kill one. Okay, okay. and uh, I'm done. That's my action. Yep. Next is Doran. Uh, okay, since I'm holding my halberd with both hands, I'm gonna attack with the halberd. And uh, let me check for that. How much do I roll for that? Okay. It's going to be uh, one plus five. Okay, plus five. Okay. Uh, and I rolled a 13. Yeah. So I guess I hit. So uh, no, you, do, uh, you have a bonus. Uh, that's with the 
form of action. No, so with your halberd, you, you, you wave it uh, through the hair, but the steers uh, avoid it, okay? Wow, okay. Next. I also, oh yeah. wait, no, because I, I think I uh, I don't have the shield now, so I can attack with the other side of the weapon as well. Okay. So I'm going to do that. So, and let's see if that hits. And it's a 15. Does this uh, attack 15 work? is a hit. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to roll. Yeah. And uh, I think this has a different modifier. So, Attack is a, a D4. Okay. This is a D4. They have two HP, so technically I killed one. It's, it's, oh, okay, I had we two. killed another okay. one. Good. Okay. So that's uh, four uh, stages uh, left that are going to attack. Okay, they have, uh, sorry, they have a plus five. So there is, uh, who has the lowest uh, armor class? I I guess that would be me. Okay, uh, what's your armor class? 12. 12, okay. So that's a, a 12, that's a 17. So you have a, one stage uh, uh, stuck to you. Okay. And, and uh, I will put another one on... Uh, let me see randomly. Four. Another one on Doran. What's your armor class, Doran? And uh, 19. Uh, wait, I'm not holding the shield now, so it's 70. Okay. So you have another stitch uh, uh, that is uh, stuck to you. And uh, they, they suck blood out of you, 1d4, uh, plus 3 uh, blood out of you. So, hold on, uh, I'm going to do 1d4, so this one is for Bekire. Uh -huh. Wow, Bekire, you have, uh, uh, you are losing seven blood, uh -huh. seven hit points. Uh -huh. And Doran. Yeah, how much? Let's see, that's a two, two. Okay. so that's a two plus... Uh, three, it's a five hit points that is sucked out of you. Oh my god. Oh wait, but I have uh, I have uh, armor of Agassiz. The extra the spell. Yeah. yeah, so actually I have, uh, they, they actually take five damage now when they do that. Ah, and that's I, correct, yes. So yeah. you, you killed one, but you <laughs> lost your uh, uh, that's correct. Okay. And uh, I had five temporary hit points. So how many hit points was that? Was, uh, uh, five. So five. So that's like yeah. Five. Yes. Okay. So nothing happens for me. Okay. Cool. Uh, next is Cal. Cal. Uh, Cal goes over and tries to grab and pull off the thing that's attached to Becky Ray. Okay. So one action is you move to Becky Ray, and the second action you try to grab, and uh, that would be your strength or dex. What? Uh, oh, the strength things, I suppose. Try and yeah. pull it off. Yeah. Um, so I guess it was it a d20 plus my strength? So yes, just smash it like a mosquito. <laughs> I'm afraid of uh, hurting you if I do. Yeah, that. probably you would kill me. Yeah, I'm a little worried about that. Oh, hold on a second. See. Oh, you can try dexterity if you want. No, 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 no. I'm more okay. of a burly guy. Okay, just don't make okay, eight plus. That is the plus. <laughs> oh, okay. So you are so scared to actually smash uh, Becky Ray that uh, you just do a small tap uh, on, yep. uh, on the beast and nothing happens. Thanks, uh, though. I appreciate next it. This is Becky Ray. So, Becky Ray, you have this enormous uh, flying beast that is stuck to, stuck to your neck and that is pumping blood out of you. Yeah, well, that doesn't feel nice. Um, oh. I'll draw. Uh, yeah, I'll draw both of my daggers and try to... To stab it? Yeah, stab like... Something. Yeah. Okay. So, two attacks. Uh, I'm not really good with this because I'm not supposed to be milling, but... I got a plus four, wow. Okay, let's see. So, main hand. That's a miss. Yeah. And offhand. That 
Oh. That's a hit. You Just. managed to actually uh, uh, cut a bit of uh, the, the stage uh, with uh, your uh, second dagger. Yep. Roll for yep. damage. And I need to roll better than... Okay, that's at least yeah. a two. That's you it. get that's it. it. Okay. Whew. So you managed to actually uh, remove the sturge that is uh, attached to you and there are still two that are flying. Yep. Now it's yep. uh, Tony to do something. So yeah, I, I want to attack one of the flying ones. Yeah. Oh, so there are the just way. buzzing around you. Okay, 13. Do you have any bonus? I I no, that's everything. No. Yeah. So it's a miss. Shogunai. Yeah. And by the way, I've learned that uh, two weapon fighting technique from our ranger friend who left us. <laughs> Parting gift. Yeah. Okay, next is Doran, unless you want to have another action, Tony. No, no, that's all for me. Okay, Doran. How many of them left? Two. Okay, I'm gonna use my uh, channel divinity. It's not a spell, it's uh, my OS uh, thingy. So basically, I'm gonna like have a terrifying presence around me and okay. I force each creature, each creature that I can see uh, to make a wisdom saving throw. If they fail, the creature becomes frightened of me for one minute. Okay. So wisdom saving throw? Yeah, wisdom saving throw for I'm, each. I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's see the creatures. Uh, sorry, no, it's not D4. Sorry, just uh, sorry, I made a mistake. Wow, they both failed. <laughs> wow, there is one that is definitely uh, going away, but the other, uh, other is actually uh, getting angrier and angrier. Yeah. So the Sturge is seeing you. Uh, Sturge is seeing you and is uh, uh, going uh, uh, towards you and is going to attack. Let me check its uh, wall. Uh, that's a 12 plus uh, bonus is 5, uh, plus 12 plus 5, 17. Does it go through your armor? Uh, my armor is 17 now, so I guess it doesn't. No. So next is Carl. Okay, so there's uh, one creature left, is that right? Yeah. I'll take a swing at it with uh, my sword. Okay. Yeah, that's 17, a hit. 10, so you managed to, to hit, absolutely. On a, oh, it's a slashing damage. Okay, so uh, roll for damage. That's the uh, 10 at the bottom. Ah, okay, the, sorry. The, so, the yes, uh, the thing is uh, cut in three and four and five uh, while on flight and uh, falls on, on the floor in uh, multiple parts. Shrek crack. Shoop, shoop, shoop. And you say with a grind to your friends, a uh, oh, piece of cake. I don't like these fly things. <laughs> I, I'm impressed you were able to hit such small flies with your big sword. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, yes, that's a tiny, actually. That's a tiny beast. Uh, should be their, part of their armor class. Is, should be uh, taken into consideration for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The armor class takes care of that. Ah, okay. okay. Just, uh, no, no, no. You are so good at hitting that even with that big sword, you got like a uh, master of swords, man. I'm inspired by, by 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 you, great champions. It's you know I, I feel that I'm I'm starting to come to my own, but I know that I can't compare to your great accomplishments. One day I hope. <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> so you guys are, are covered a bit with sweat on just a wipe so, off the, the sweat Ray, from your forehead. Dear Ray, I think you are wounded. Uh, Am I? How fine are you? Do you need any help? Uh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My neck is, is bleeding. There, <laughs> is there anybody else wounded here? Uh, I am wounded. I can heal myself or you can heal me. You choose. No, I will. Okay. Uh, technically, I would like to keep those healings for emergency, but uh, at least yeah, for can... her, no at least for gonna... her, for Ray, I want to heal her at least. Okay. Sure. I'm uh, going to use my own lay on hands to heal myself. So I will. I'm going to use a um, uh, cure, cure wounds okay. on her, and they. I have a healing bonus of 
five actually. So I think you're already full even oh, without rolling. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I so. feel Senor Ray's warmth on my neck. Is that you, Senor Ray? Oh, it's you, Tony. Uh, it's actually. Oh, it's, it's... you. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. No, no, no. <laughs> Take it. Okay, that's it. Let's proceed. Okay. Uh, as you as you proceed towards the cabin, then you you reach uh, a distance where you can actually see it, uh, and it's a, it's a cabin that is uh, raised up above the swamp, uh, on a sturdy wooden platform, and uh, you have a humanoid uh, figure that is moving slowly alongside of it, as in great oh. pain. When the figure sees you, he raises his hand as though to salute you. Well, I'm going toward him. You okay? Okay. As you approach, you see that uh, his, uh, as his uh, withered features uh, become clearer and clearer, you realize that what you had thought was a human is actually a walking corpse. Oh, so do we, he is. Do we, by the way, see around, I'm just wondering if we're seeing lots of gravestones or anything like that where we are? No, or... not at all, not at all. Not Apparently, at all. Okay. Uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's the marshes and uh, it looks like uh, nature. Okay. And he's waving at you like uh, an old man, but actually you, you see it's, uh, it looks more like a zombie from a distance. But he's waving at us. Yes. Are you, telling him, are you okay? And I, I go you have to get him. closer because it's like yeah, a 20, I, 20 meter away. Yeah, I, I get closer uh, unsuspecting. Mm -hmm. So you get closer uh, indeed. And uh, the, the corpse is uh, now waving his two hands and saying, hello. He's got a kind of a, a, a way that he's uh, speaking in a moaning voice. But, and it's a bit disturbing to, to, to hear that voice, but uh, even if it's slow and moaning, you, you can actually understand a, a bit uh, what he's saying. And what, what he's saying? Just hello? Hello, friends. Uh, are you okay? You don't look in a good shape, guy. Oh, it has been a long time. Oh. Um, I'm confused, but I mean, nice to meet you. My name is Tony. We are adventurers. And who are you? So I suppose you are getting closer, much closer. How, how close are you? I would, I would like to stay at least uh, social distance, distance so two meters. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you have a few meters and you have a, a cabin uh, that is actually uh, quite well uh, maintained. Uh, apparently, uh, it's, uh, it's almost uh, spotless and there are a few parts that still need a bit repair, but uh, it's, it's, you're pretty impressed by, by the shape of, of the cabin. So I yeah, ask him, who are you? What's your name? Oh, oh, my name is Patrick. Patrick. Oh. Are you, what are you doing here? Uh, uh, um, mm, mm, I think, uh, mm, it's strange. I think I was dying. But you seem alive. Do you need any help? Hmm. I think I'm dead. Mm. And what are you doing here as a dead person? Mm, I, I prefer, I prefer in my, in my mm, cabin. Mm. Um, town too bad, town too bad. Why is the town bad? Oh. Oh, nights, many skeletons, many, 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 many skeletons. At night, right? Mm. Do you think we could take shelter with you in your cabin? Hey, yeah, yeah, of course, of course. And yeah, the skeletons don't oh. come to you, right? Mm, no reason. 
Be careful, skeletons. Night, march. Mm -hmm. Patrick, tell me your story. Hmm. I was mm, me living in town. Mm. Very sick, very sick. Do you remember very... what happened to this town? Why it's become like this? Mm. Mm. So he's mumbling and I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think. And uh, he says, mm. I was dying on maybe curse on city, curse on city. I want to check, does this guy has any strange pendant or something like that? No, not at all. He, he's got a shirt that is a bit dirty, but uh, uh, dirty from an uh, old uh, age, but apparently he washes it uh, hmm. when he gets a chance. Well, and does he smell, I guess he smells bad. Um, yeah, pretty bad, but... Uh... I want to ask you, hmm. do I recognize I recognize his smelling being bad from being a dead body or just being dirty? Um, dead body, dead body, definitely. Hmm. But it's a good point, Tony. Uh, well, we don't have the pendant, right, because we throw it away, but... I tried to describe to this man, hmm. uh, like the free-eyed pendant, Mm. and try to tell him, like, reference the story about the girl who was, you know, which hunted. Does he know oh. anything about it? Oh, that the, was so What so was her terrible. name? Edelmir? Edelmir! Yep. So sad, so sad. They hanged her, they hanged her by the tree. Do you know where is the tree where they hung her? Rowan tree is a red tree with red berries. Big, big, big. Uh huh. Tree. Do you think you can bring us to that tree yourself? Mm, I don't go to town. Oh, it's in town. Okay. It's in town. Mm. We saw a big tree before. A very big tree, if I remember correctly. Mm. Big tree? Mm. Way to chapel. Ah. Oh. I see. Oh, I see. Not wants to take a look again at his fingers and just see if he's wearing any rings. Yeah, good point. No, it's not. Uh, the fingers are swollen on the uh, uh, skin. is uh, is going away, but uh, no, no ring on his uh, fingers. Okay. Mm. Um. Hey, Patrick. Can we help you in any ways? Mm, yeah. Me need uh, uh, more work on the house. More work. Yeah, but your house looks pretty well kept. What mm -hmm. work do you need? Mm, maybe better gate. Mm, mm, door mm. don't like. Mm, maybe nicer shape. Mm. Well, I'm no carpenter. Maybe um, go to carpenter shop. Do you want us to bring you a door? Mm, make door maybe. Mm. <laughs> okay. So. Can you explain to us which one is the carpenters? Okay, so mm, so he's pointing in certain direction and uh, he's giving you a description that you basically uh, don't really understand because yeah. he says turn left and right, mm, go straight, mm, uh, and uh, there are uh, carpenter shop. Okay. Okay. Well, a, a good door could uh, help us all if we if we end up, uh, you know, using this as a place to to spend the night instead of the lighthouse. I don't know which is better. I think we should accept his invite and spend the night with him. He yeah. sounds like a good guy. Yeah, he's not that smelly as he looks like. <laughs> he smells pretty bad. Yes. <laughs> 
his mood oh. is pretty bad. But he looks oh. worse. Doran, are you okay sharing your bed with this guy? <laughs> yeah, well, I guess I've been in the worst situation. Sure, why not? Yeah, maybe this okay. is easier to secure. Yeah. So he's, he's the... now putting a few plates uh, on uh, on the table, uh, on uh, uh, trying to to have some glasses, and he's pouring empty bottle uh, into uh, into the glasses, as mimicking uh, some kind of uh, uh, tea party. Uh, I guess I play along. Mm -hmm. So I invited you inside, of course. Mm, very and inside nice you see a, a very nice bed uh, that is dirty, but is it's very neatly made. Apparently, nobody has slept in it, and you see uh, uh, over uh, furniture that are quite nice for uh, something that could have been made by a, a zombie, uh, but apparently it's not used either. So it's, it's kind of curse in some uh, not curse, but uh, stuck in some kind of loop. Where it mimics uh, life without actually uh, really living it. Mm. I see. Do you have any knowledge of undeeds acting like this? This is very strange for me. Uh, you could roll uh, some kind of uh, what would it be? Wisdom? Okay. You got this. I guide you with Senor Ray. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> oh, he really smells bad. Maybe he's dead. I mean, just roll a d4, just in case. Okay. Maybe d4? you get a 4. Yeah, maybe you get a 4. Huh? Oh, it's fine. Tony? Uh, sorry, uh, my daughter just come. Uh, okay. I have to roll what? I have to roll what? Oh, uh, I tried to guide you. Maybe you get a 4. Ah, uh, uh, let's try it. Senor guides. Eh. So it's yeah. a 12. Mm. So you you remember something that you read somewhere uh, when you were not uh, skipping class uh, about uh, <laughs> dying people caught in the middle of uh, some kind of affliction. Uh huh. I see. Uh, Sorry guys, I, I need uh, I need five minutes. I can hear okay. you. No but... oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, can I roll for that as well because I also studied magic? Um. Yeah. Yeah. Roll. Okay, what, what role is this? Wisdom? Wisdom, yes. So, um, plus one. Okay. Let me turn off the microphone. Yeah, thank you. All right. And it's a three. Oh, it's a nine, actually. Okay. That's... Mm. Did you guide me or something? No, right? Uh, I don't want to spam guide. Yeah. Okay. So uh, it's just a nine, guys. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know you. Uh, okay. Uh, well, I, I wanna. I want to use uh, my last uh, the third and the last time. I want to use my divine sense again to check if he is evil or not, okay. and if there is any evil presence around this cabin as well. Okay. I'm back, by the way. Alright. Yeah. But yeah, uh, I need to. Using my divine sense now just to fill you in on what's happening. Okay. Uh, to check if this zombie is evil or if there is any evil presence no, around. No, uh, you the stunning is that the zombie is uh, pretty much neutral. Um, but uh, what uh, what uh, you can't feel actually is uh, but it's uh, it's something that you have felt uh, as you have come to the village. Something is unholy in uh, this this whole place. I can switch direction. Is this... uh, it's a it's a kind of a diffuse uh, feeling for that that is all around and apparently goes quite far. Uh, far like uh, toward this uh, the way we came from or like uh, in every direction it? in every direction every where you are. So inside the house as well. Uh, yeah. Also, it's it's just something that is bathing all the the area. So uh, I tell everybody about what I just sent it. It doesn't okay. feel quite nice around here, guys. Yeah. Uh, hey, Patrick. Sure you want to spend the night here? Uh, I mean, it's either this or the lighthouse or somewhere else. I mean, th this is a good plan B. Uh, just one more question, Patrick. Uh, 
Do you have family? Oh, family dead, family dead. Or maybe left, maybe. Maybe left. I don't know. Uh-huh, okay. Um, all right. Um, I guess we see you later. Still ah, have... um, maybe you, uh, you found which, you found which. Yeah, we, we trying to find where that girl was. So he, he's uh, telling you a bit detail about, uh, where the, the grave is located, uh, in regard of the uh, row one tree. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The, the indication are, are in his own languages uh, made of moaning and complaining and uh, low tone, but uh, more or less you, you, you kind of figure out where, where it will be. Okay. I guess that's where we go next. Unless you guys want to do something else. We'll, we'll come back here later anyways, yes. Yeah, yeah, the marshes yeah. are evil. Uh, okay. Alright, we'll try to follow uh, Patrick's guides, no, guidance where this red tree, or the tree with the red berries is. Okay, so you need to go back uh, through the marshes. Well, we need to go back to town, or uh... yes, uh, it depends. Uh, you can go uh, either south uh, through the um, yes through there, or you can uh, cross the marshes uh, through the, the ah. east and then take the path. I mean, last time we did the marshing stuff, we got attacked. Uh... I think the marshes are more dangerous, so it's better to go the long way. Yeah, I to think go so. From the way we came from. Yeah, at least we know there are yeah. no dirges there anymore. Okay. Now uh, we go back from this way. Yeah, let's go back. And then uh, I guess the tree. Uh, hmm. Is it somewhere around here? Uh, hold on. Uh, where are you now? Um, You're in the cabin, we... right? Yeah, like here. Uh, we are going back from this direction now. Okay, so as you guys, uh, can you tell me uh, how you, you are moving? I guess the information is always same. Yeah. yeah, I hide behind Doran. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, I'm a, I'm the first in the front line. Yeah. I'm, I'm okay, a... as usual, Tony, yeah. Doran, uh, Cal, yeah. and Bekire. Sure. Okay. So, can someone do a perception check? Okay, I'm gonna Either do it. Either Doran or Tony. Okay, I'll do it. Go Duran. Yeah, yeah, I'm rolling it now. And it's a 13. This, this good? Uh, that's a 12. Uh, actually, you start hearing uh, uh, big uh, noises uh coming from uh giant frogs <laughs> how giant like uh, giant toads oh okay disgusting uh, which direction is this coming like uh from front of us to it's back. in front of you uh on your uh, left left uh, yes i warned tony about it as there are some giant frogs apparently of us? Giant frogs? Shhh. Well, don't want to shout now. <laughs> oh. Let's move stealthily. Yeah, and it's on the left side, from the left side. Maybe we should go right a little bit until we pass that sound. And then you stray out of uh, almost non existent path. Yeah, uh, mm, it's probably not a good idea. Just to be cautious about our left side for now. Yeah. Let's just be quiet. 
Okay. So you guys are going to move uh, stealthily, or you're going to attack them, or you? I mean, let's try stealth. I'm going to move stealth team. Yeah, yeah. Stealth. Okay. <laughs> so everybody. I actually, yeah. I actually have the skill stealth. You fell. You you failed. No, no, no. I said I actually have the skill. Should be quite good. So three. D20 yeah, plus 3. Do we have disadvantage okay. because of the chainmail? Mm. Probably. I I don't know the rules. Well, no, let's see, chainmail. Do you have like a chainmail, right? A chain mail yes, I have a chainmail. Yeah. And I think Doran is also probably having like heavy armor. Okay. Uh, yeah, you do have disadvantage with chainmail, unfortunately. Okay. I will yeah, roll you yeah. die. You need to beat a 10. So this is my first roll, and this is my second roll, and it's a ten. Okay, that's good. So you you move stealthily uh, by the, the giant uh, frogs. You almost make noise at ten, but they, they don't notice you, or so it seems. And you are going uh, through. Good. Who is following? Me, Doran. Okay. I'm gonna roll. Uh, I'm at disadvantage, so I'm gonna roll two. And... Oh, never mind. Ah, no, 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 not this one. Yes, <laughs> there is a one. That's a double. Okay. No, no, no. Wow. no so, <laughs> clink, clink. I think I roll. No, As no, you're about to, not one. to make noise, you actually make uh, so much noise that the, the free uh, 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 pair of big eyes turns to you and uh, has to wonder free. what's going on here. Free. Okay, everybody roll for for um, uh, initiative. Oh no, we're oh, not I ready for this. <laughs> I don't want to jump, fight giant oh, frogs. They're disgusting. Six for the giant frogs are not. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> yeah, my roll sucks today. <laughs> yeah, well. Doran, uh, first Cal, okay, Cal is nine, super, and uh, who is uh, Tony, 16, okay, so Tony, your move, you see so your friend doing? making so much us. noise, and you see the frogs, but you have initiative. I, I guess... I, I take my defensive stance, I raise the shield, and I try to protect my best friends. Okay. I put myself in front of her. Oh. Okay. Mm. Let's see, one action, what is the other action? Uh, I can't do anything else. I don't want to cast a spell right now, so I just okay. say in a defensive stance. I get ready to counterattack if they okay. get close. Fair enough. Cal, what do you do? How far away are they from me? Uh, they are probably, uh, let's say, 10 feet away. Okay. And there are how many of them? Three of them. Um, all right. I'm, I'm going to... Uh, they've seen us, right? And they're... Yeah. What are they doing? Uh, they are ready to attack now. All right. I'm going to charge. Ah, you know, rushing in with my sword. Uh, remember that it's marsh, so the movement is uh, is more difficult in the marsh. So uh -huh. double double the movement speed. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. I've got thirty movement. If they're ten feet away, I can still make it there easily. Yeah. With, uh, one movement. You will be a bit struggling to to go to them. Shruff, shruff, shruff. Uh, <laughs> so I do a lot of screaming. And then I just attack whichever whichever one I get to first. Okay. Um. So you have basically they are, they are facing you more or less, uh, maybe a bit uh, difference. You have a left, center, or right. Um. Okay, let's uh, do the one on the left. Okay. Okay, got it. Okay. I will roll for you. And that's a hit at 16 hit. point. You don't kill it, but uh, you damage it. Okay. Uh, uh, next, actually, uh, you have you have no more action, right? That's uh, your two action, or you have bonus action. I, da, 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 da. I do have bonus action, but I think I am not 
going to take it. So I'll just ready myself here. Okay, it's really, really, really a large beast. So this uh, beast is going to attack you and it's going to bite you at the fo plus four. Let me see. 14, what's your... Uh, uh, Armor class is 16. So that's a 14 plus 4, that's a 18. It goes through. Uh, it, it's a 1d10 plus 2 in passing damage. So that's a 6 passing damage. Plus one d10 poison damage. Wow. Poisonous? No. Uh, yeah, that's a six uh, poison uh, damage, and you are grappled now. I'm grappled. Okay. So it means you are restrained. Yep. Okay. Next. Uh, next is actually the second uh, toad. The uh, second toad is going to attack uh, Tony. Okay. Okay, so let's roll for it. It's right on you at 12 plus 4, it's 16. Okay, I'm fine. I have 21. Okay, so... Since I, since I was ready to counter attack it, is there any rule that will let me attack now? Uh, not really, why? Okay, no, just asking. Okay. And um, next is going to attack uh, Bekire. But she's behind me. But I Can am hiding behind Doran. Okay. And, uh, yeah. And so everyone. Doran is going to be attacked. Let's Doran, attack yeah. Yeah. Doran, you have this uh, gigantist, uh, gigantic uh, uh, frog that is uh, right upon you and is going to attack you at D20 plus 4. But, uh, 21. Yeah, better roll than me. <laughs> yeah. So it goes through, I guess. Yeah. So it, it does, does 1d10 plus 2 uh, piercing damage, which is a 6. 6 damage? Yeah, plus poison damage. 1d10 plus 1d10 only. Plus 2 poison damage. Uh, how much in total? Uh, so oh, six. Six plus two or, or, or four plus two? Four plus no. two. It's a four plus two plus two. Right, so eight, right? Yes, and you are grappled. Uh, this is a, a disease or a poison or poison? To escape, you need a DC 13. Uh, no, no, just uh, this is a, uh, a poison. Or a disease, the damage, like it's, it's poison damage, but not poison status. Yeah, it's poison uh, damage only. Uh, okay, so because let me see if I can keep that with lay hands or not. Yeah, it's just uh, it's regular damage. Yeah. yeah, so okay, so when it's my action, I can actually cure that poison. I don't think you need to cure it because yeah, it's, not poison. it's the damage, it's not a uh, okay, so because you said I'm crabble, so okay, yeah. So who is grappled? Tony, Kai? I'm not. I'm not, not grappled. Ah, yes, that's correct. That's correct. You're just uh, facing. So Cal and Doran are grappled. Next is uh, Doran. No, sorry, Becky. Mm -hmm. So help me to imagine, like, how far away these toads are from each other. Uh, basically, there are three toads. Uh, one on Tony, one on uh, uh, Cal, and one on Doran. The one on Cal is actually further away because uh -huh. uh, Cal uh, reached to them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and you are uh, sheltering behind uh, Tony, if I remember well. Yeah, I'm just wondering if if there are two toads close together, like in five feet, next mm, to each other. No. Maybe the. But your friends, I uh, know the, the one that is not grappling anyone is the one that is on Tony. Uh huh. Okay. Otherwise, the other two are grappling your friends. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out if I can use an AOE spell or a single target spell. Like, if I can get two toads 
it's probably a, a single target because single you might target. Hit okay. your, uh, your friends that are uh, yeah, yeah. got it got it got it well in that case i'm just gonna say a quick prayer and send ray is gonna blast one of these uh maybe the one that's grappling doran because i kind of wanna set doran free so okay here goes nothing guiding bolt <coughs> And I might need to use. Oh, it hits, oh! It hits, I guess. Goes through, yes. All right, and I cast this at second level. Do I? Uh, yeah, let's do it second level. So that's gonna be five d six, and I might reroll this if it's bad. I'll reroll the two ones for one sorcery point. Um, okay. So that's gonna be thirteen plus two d six. Okay, so 13 plus 7, 20 points of radiant damage against the uh, toad that's grappling um, yeah. Doran. Wow. Yeah. Get her, and get her. The toad, the toad is still uh, grappling hard, uh, holding hard on uh, yeah. Doran. And, yeah. that's, and that toad is now um, engulfed in radiant um, light, so and yet the, the first attack against it has advantage. Disadvantage, okay. Uh, no, uh, like advantage, so it's easier to hit basically for one, okay. for one okay. attack. Okay. And uh, that's my turn. Good, next is Doran. Okay, so I'm, I'm free now from the toad, is this correct? No, you are still grappled. Okay, so I, you, I try... You are restrained, you are restrained. Okay, so can I try to escape from that? Yes, one action. Yeah, okay. So I try to skip from. Uh, do I need to roll for this? Uh, you need to beat DC 13. Uh, you can use your dexterity. Would it be strength or dexterity, by the way, for this one? Uh, strength for me, I guess. Strength, okay. Uh, DC 16. I'm sorry, how do you roll that again? D20, you need to beat uh, 13. And uh, plus uh, my strength, which is three. It's gonna be eight, actually. Uh, I roll eight. No, so you 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 you're struggling, 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 uh, but you you cannot check the, the hold. It's like a bare hold of uh, made by a a, a, ch a wrestling champion. Uh, that is a toad. Okay. Guys, I, I can't ski it. Okay. So you're, you're very, very tense, but uh, you, are, do, you don't manage to, to escape. Does Tony do something now? Tony? I was speaking with microphone off, sorry. Uh, <laughs> so okay. yeah, I cast a Bane spell okay. that affects the three toads. They need to make a Charisma save and my with a dc 15. okay so you don't need to roll right i don't need to roll they have to roll uh dc 15 charisma save okay uh so one save one fail and one beautifully save so you need to we you need to choose which one was affected. The one that is affected will The one that is affected is the one that is facing you, Tony. Okay, so basically the affected frog from now on rolls minus d4 to the attacks rolls. Okay, minus d4. And that's my action. Okay. Uh Cal, it's your turn. Okay. Um you are still uh, restrained. That's fine. I can still attack. Um, the uh, the one that that um uh, that Becky Ray attacked it was mine. That did I hear correctly? That that um gives me advantage on my attack. I know I get disadvantage from the grapple, but I'm wondering if it would cancel it out. No, you, you, you can attack the one that is grappling you, and you already uh, damaged it for 16 uh, hit points. Got you. No, I'm sorry. I, I was asking about something a little bit different. I know Becky Ray attacked that uh -huh. one, and I thought that Becky Ray's attack 
might have given it a disadvantage on attacks. I'm just wondering what uh, the big hero uh, attacked the right one, not the left one that you're on. Yeah, I attacked the one that's in front of Doran, and that's like the oh, next you were attack. Oh, you Doran. I'm just yeah. Yeah, yeah. you're a bit further in the combat. Yeah, you were a bit further away. That's uh, fine. No problem. No problem. All right. So, so I have it. So uh, I understand correctly. I'm grappled. I can attack with disadvantage. So yeah. uh, you know, can... no, yeah, grappled yeah. is no like you. You can just you cannot move away until you as like you use your action to escape. But you can attack normally. I can attack normally. Yeah. Okay. So grappled is just you cannot move away okay, because move. he's holding okay. you. Yeah. Great. Uh, and it's only been hit once this one, right? By by me. Okay, I'm going to then um, use both Great Weapon Master and Reckless Attack. Okay. I'm going. Ah, I'm yeah, you go crazy. Okay, go for it. I'm getting mad at this thing. I'll, I'll attack. Um, so that gives me advantage, disadvantage on attacks against me, but um, I will try and see what happens. It makes me so mad, frogs. Okay, that's a nine hit on the first one, so I'm sure that doesn't hit. No, but that's not a hit, sorry. And the second oh, one, I go swinging wildly and I... Ah, so yeah, you right. swing but widely on the... <laughs> nothing. Oh, shit, I'm in big trouble now. Yeah, Should you're in big yours. trouble. So <laughs> the... The, <laughs> the toad is going to attack you. Oh, I'm sorry, real quickly before that, I'm going to do a bonus action. Okay. And go into a rage. Okay. So uh, I'll, I'll, I'll hit my rage. Yeah, you definitely oh, are in a rage situation. Yeah, that's a pretty much a rage situation for sure. Yeah. Okay, that's it. And so that the range is defense and the defensive thing. It's no no more attack. That's all. Okay. So let's see what does the restore on you. Wait, how did you have two attacks, by the way? Are we level? F Wait. Uh, because when I use reckless attack, I get advantage on my attacks. Oh, so okay. So class. just advantage. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. So it's one class, but doesn't. Yeah. Neither one really good. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, so the, the toad attacks you at uh, advantage. That's a 17 plus 4. Um, what's that, the damage? No, 17 plus 4, so the, the mouth of the toad um, open wide, wide, wide and swallow you. So sure that, that hits. Huh? That hits for sure. Yeah, yeah, no, that, that hits, but the, the, the mouth is uh, swallowing you, and now you're inside uh, the toad. What? You are, you are blinded and restrained. Oh, fuck. And you take a 3d6 acid damage. Oh, my God. I get uh, half damage on that. Hold on. That's 3-8, uh, uh, 8 eight damage. So, f 4 damage, it's halved. Okay. Uh-oh. At the start of each toad's turn. Okay. So you have been swallowed. It's dark in here. Well, it's, you are blinded. Uh, next toad is going to attack a Tony. Okay. Let's see what the toad does. Okay, four plus four, eight. Nothing really. Uh, the, the toad is trying to, to reach to you, but you manage, since you are very small, to escape it. And the one, next one is going to attack Doran. Attack, I'm already under one, right? Yes, uh, actually, it's at advantage. Sorry, I need to roll another one. So that's 16. So another toad is attacking me besides the toad that's already on. No, 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 that's the one uh, that um, that is grappling you. So that's ah, a 16 ah. plus 4, that's a 20. What's your armor class? Yes, um, I don't know. If I'm, either way, it's, it's a 19, anyways. So. So the toad also uh, open wide its mouth and uh, swallow you whole uh, inside it. Ah, that's amazing. Is it, can it some swallow food? me that easily with all the armor I have on me? Like, I'm quite heavy, actually. Yes, it's an attack plus four to hit. And uh, if we manage to get the attack, uh, unless you are large, uh, medium or smaller target uh, being grappled, they, they can be swallowed. Okay. Uh, that's a 3d6. Uh, acid damage. 3d6. We are in trouble. That's a 8 damage acid. Okay. 
next is uh, Becky Ray. Yep. I mean, seeing Doran getting swallowed. <laughs> uh, Did Doran get swallowed too? I yeah. think so, yeah. You guys yeah. both are swallowed right now. <laughs> Finish it. Yeah, Becky is panicking a bit, but she is just going to send another uh, ray gun at the one that just swallowed Doran. Um, again, at level 2. I really don't Your advantage to... now. Yeah, that's true. I still have advantage because of the attack that guy. So let's see. That's my first attack. 17, but advantage. Maybe a crit, please. Oh well. Yeah, it goes through. Alright, so again, 5d6, and I might reroll if it's a bad. Uh, I mean, it's not terrible. I rerolled the one. Yeah. So that's 18, and reroll just the one for one sorcery point. Okay, uh, 18 plus 5, okay, 23 on the toad that swallowed Doran just now. That's a, that's a good move because uh, the the uh, the toad is uh, uh, spit it out, spit it. immobile, and then uh, roll and fall uh, on its side. Nice, Dead. spit it out with a big big stomach uh, on something inside its stomach. That obviously you oh, know, it didn't spit it out. Damn it. Okay. <laughs> Well, okay, Doran, it's very dark, and suddenly you felt that you were uh, falling uh, on the ground. But you are still inside the, the toad. I fell on the ground inside the toad? Yes, you, you, you became uh, a prone inside the toad. Okay, can I cast uh, like a magic uh, inside that, or not? Like with my mouse, I can cast a magic command, try to command the toad. Uh, the, uh, the, the toad out. is not moving. Nothing is moving anymore inside the, the toad. Apparently, it's dead. Ah, okay, okay. So I, I try to get like outside, open its mouth, and get outside again. I guess. Um. Yeah. Let's let's do. Uh, what would it be? Uh... Just a strength, I guess. Though. Yeah. Let's do strength. Yeah. Burst open from the frog. <laughs> Just... Okay. So. Just roll with Plus, it. Yeah, yeah, strength. So just and uh, as always, six. Uh, so you you try to open the mouth that is a bit stiff. Uh, so you have your hands uh, getting out. <laughs> maybe you need one more action to to try to get out. I'm gonna disable the digital dice because maybe that's my curse. Mm. Disable that three D dice. Okay. So you still have uh, two frogs uh, in action. Tony, you have one that is, looks uh, very healthy and very upset. Uh, yeah. So it's your... my turn, I guess, right? I I channel divinity. Yeah. I decide to channel divinity and use the power to heal uh, Cal. Okay. As long as he's 30 feet. No long, it should be a 10 feet for me, so I should be fine. And this heals him of where is it? Uh, fifteen HP. Okay. Oh. But I can't exceed with this heal half of your total HP. So I don't know what's your maximum HP. Okay. If it's if it's 30 or more, I heal 15. Okay, 15, that's, that's great. That's, uh, that gets me, I think, back up to full. Yeah. yeah, so that's my action. Okay, so you get uh, points. Next is Cal. Cal's still very angry. Yeah, very restrained and very angry. Can't see anything, and I'm very feeling stuck, but I will take my sword and with a reckless rage, jab it upwards towards the general direction of his head. Okay. So my understanding is that with all these conditions, I have disadvantage to attack. Yeah, you do. Um, with reckless assault, it gives me advantage to attack, which I think neutralizes it, so it's yeah. now zero, zero. Yeah. So I guess I'll roll attack normally using Great Weapon Master 
and we'll see <laughs> what happens if I roll better than last time. Uh, okay. Uh, here we go. 16. Is that hit? 16. It's a hit. You managed to cut through a, a bit of uh, this uh, horrible beast. 21 slashing damage to it. Yeah. So you cut a bit through the, the stomach of uh, the beast, but still it's not the light of the day. Okay. That's it. All right. Next is uh, the toads, actually. I think uh, it should, 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 should have taken acid damage, right? Because you're still inside. Yeah. When is that? Is that the beginning of my turn or the beginning of its turn? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, that's at the beginning of his turn. Uh, you get uh, one uh, free ah. damage. Is that the end of my turn that I get? It? Beginning of his turn. Beginning of his turn. Got oh, it. Oh my okay. bad. Okay. Uh, okay. So that's uh, uh, that's uh, eight damage. And again, it's divided by four and a half because of my rage. So it's four more damage. So it's four damage. Four damage. Okay. Oh. Okay, the toad is going, one toad, the healthy one is going to attack um, Tony. Yeah. Oh. You are, but he has minus d4, so I think he can't crit, right? Minus d4. I mean, that's still a crit. It's a critical it's a crit. There's no. So if you roll a four, he misses me. Come on, roll a four. Okay, wait. I'd like to steal the toad's luck. It's a four. Yes! Yes! Okay. I have 21 the armor faster. You missed me. Nice. He still misses you with a crit? Or... I'm not sure. Ask to I them. think a crit is a crit. A crit I is a crit. Uh, it's no, there's no modificator. I think it has a crit, uh, uh, Tony. Sorry. So it will hit me anyway. Yeah. Uh, and it will be 1d10 damage and you are grappled. Ah. Oh. Wow, that's a 10. Okay. Minus 10, and you are grappled. I think. Uh, next is... Uh, oh, sorry, we, 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 we did something wrong now. Uh, it was... Uh, yeah, the, the Toads are playing. Next is uh, the one that is uh, with Doran is dead. On the one that is with Cal, right? Yes. So this one is pretty, uh, pretty uh, tired, but he's going to uh, uh, do uh, one d10, uh, uh, sorry, three d6 damage to digest you. Didn't you already do that? Uh, yeah, no, I did it. Sorry, I did it. So what? Is... No, sorry, I, I played. I played it already. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Next is uh, actually Becky. Ah. Okay. So everybody is either swallowed or uh, restrained or <laughs> the tube. Woohoo. Uh, I guess the closest one to me, yeah. I'll just do... I'll try to um, get my friend loose. So again, I know I sound like a broken record, but um, Guiding Bolt um, on the one that just grappled uh, Tony. Tony. Okay. Um, I might need to add. Uh, no, actually, it goes through. It goes, goes through. Goes through. Okay. So this time it's only going to be 46 because I'm out of second level spells. Uh, yeah, I'll reroll that one. That's so it's 10, and that's my last sorcery point. All right, 15 radiant damage. Minus 15 radiant damage, okay, return. And that's it. And next is Doran. Okay, I try to break free again from the I'll toad. give you advantage here because you already tried and uh, you you are good to go. Okay, roll again. Uh, yeah, as always. So take another one, I give you advantage here. Yeah, 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 yeah sure. Okay. And guess what? I'm not sure what's going on with this this thing. It just hits me today. <laughs> Are you rolling a d20? I swear yeah, to God, I'm rolling a d20. It says 1d20 plus 3. Okay, so you, you are still uh, slowly uh, uh, crawling out of the mouth of, uh, of the beast, but uh, you're still not there. Uh, next is Tony. Tony, you are grappled. You're crawling out the so wrong exit. 
<laughs> which kind which kind of action I have to use to free myself? Uh, it's an escape uh, DC 13. There you go. DC 14 on? 13, 13. 13 on which which stat? Uh, grapple, I think it's uh, it's strength probably. Strength. Or I could put and it uh, as a dexterity as well. It depends on what is your best. Uh... I would like to use strength. I'm stronger than fast. Um, I have another question. It's an action or a bonus action to free myself? It's action. an action. Okay. Well, I will try to free myself. Okay. Oh, ah. good. Oh, damn it. I didn't. No. What? You don't have you any strength? Your dexterity bonus? I, yeah, I I have plus two, so it's 11. I didn't. Oh. Actually, I, I wanted to use the other dice, but I misclicked. But that's still a dice roll, so... Oh. Okay. Uh, you still have one action? Uh, I will cast um, cure, cure Wounds on myself. Okay. So it's 1d8 plus, I think, sorry guys, I need to check the spell again. I think it's 1d8 uh, plus your wisdom. It's 1d8 plus my wisdom. Yeah, plus but you're a life cleric. So. so I have another plus three, so plus six. Okay, there is it. So I recover seven. Okay, you the, the minimum. One. Yeah. Oh, not good okay. rolls. Uh, Cal, you you are facing a monster that looks uh, very much damaged, and um, I'm sure you you will be able to uh, uh, give it the, the last blow. Go for it. Okay, I will try. Screw I'm inside it. and feeling all acidic, and I'm just going to try to hack at this thing. Uh, here we go. All right. That's so bad. that with your sword, actually, you cut open the, the stomach of the the, uh, the toad uh, that uh, uh, expire in a, in a deep uh, last breath. And you crawl out of the stomach, uh, covered of uh, bile on, uh, on a yellowish uh, liquid, but you are alive. Reminds me of a kind of movie that I don't know what it is, but... <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah. it's so stinky, though. <laughs> but it was warm inside. It was warm and lovely in there. Yes. Next is the, the last toad that is uh, actually grappling Tony. So it will do an attack and will open wide its mouth. Let's see what happens. Okay. <laughs> it's your turn. It's a 40. Yeah, minus d4. Okay, it didn't hit me. Yeah. Yeah, minus d4, but uh, we don't care. And uh, um, but that's about it for the tool. Good. Next is uh, Becky. What do you see? What do you do? You see your friend that is uh, suffocating and um, being grappled uh, by the horrible monster. Yeah, pew pew bang bang. Mm. Another one of Seren Ray's cleansing light. Hopefully hits this toad. Oh, I think I still have advantage because I hit that guy last you time. You hit it. You hit it. Yeah. Yeah, but anyways, maybe crit. Nope. Okay. And 46. And wow, 18. 18. Uh, you, you did a, a lot of damage to, to this uh, last uh, frog, but uh, still didn't still kill it. Still there. Ah. Yeah. Okay. That's so, it. next is Doran. Doran, please escape. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell me that, but tell it to roll 20. The system is just. Uh... Roll 2d20, we'll see what's going on. I got a 15! That's yeah, bad. so you managed to crawl out of this... <laughs> and the 21, yeah! Wow! Finally. Finally. Uh, explode the mouth uh, of the toad, uh, of the dead toad. And uh, you're taking uh, your breath. And, uh, and now you are you have one knee uh, on the floor and the other uh, ready to stand. And uh, you are watching the situation. You see another dead toad in front of you. Your friend Cal, all covered in a yellowish uh, liquid. That's like me. He's struggling uh, in uh, the small uh, arms of a last uh, horrible uh, toad. 
Okay. Tony. Yeah, it's my turn. Yeah. Um. I try to escape from the grapple. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I think oh. I did it. Good, you did it. So as uh, Todd was trying to, to make uh, one more uh, squeeze on you, it took a, a, a one deep breath. And uh, among this interval of a deep breath, you managed to just slip away and take a five uh, foot uh, distance from it. Good. Carl. Oh, so there's still one standing. Um, yeah, in front of uh, Tony. Actually, you're in the back uh, of the, of a big giant toad. I'm in the back of it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So um, I will attack that one. Okay. Uh, it's been hit already a little bit, so I'm just going to do a regular attack. Yeah. Slash. Wow. Yeah, goes through and uh, you manage to kill it. Hey. Oh. And uh, you look uh, uh, at uh, Tony with uh, um, an air of uh, uh, victory, and uh, you don't expect thank you, but you expect thank you in your mind. Uh, but I, but I feel that I've been empowered by this amazing group that I am with, and so proud to be a part of this game. Yes. Um, saying saying that uh, whipping uh, wiping away some uh, some part of a uh, yellowish uh, uh, liquid that is uh, dripping from your nose. Yeah. <laughs> I, okay. Who's hurt? First things I do. First things I do. Actually, I use a level two cure wounds on Carl. Carl's okay. Carl doesn't need uh, more he he healing. Oh really? You Cal's don't not, need not very hurt. hurt. Yeah. Save it for the uh, save it for the injured. Oh, I've got just a little bit of injury. So, I felt so well last time. Cole, I need to tell you something. I will be blunt. You're an amazing fighter, but you are very reckless. Next time, don't charge monsters like that. Don't charge it's... monsters, but that's what it's all about. We are going to be oh. great heroes together. But you and were they... almost dead. And they were going to so attack please us. be careful. Okay, I understand. <laughs> I will try. Thank you, Doran. Are you hurt? How are you, Doran? Yeah, are you hurt? I, I am hurt. Do you want to heal me or should I heal myself again? I will heal you. I will heal you. Okay, thank you. Where is it? You healed 21. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh. Back to full health. It's actually, I checked the spell, it's not plus wisdom, it's plus the wall spell casting modifier. So you get proficiency as well. Well, no. I'm already full health, so... I think I you know. only get, like, the wisdom. But no, you're a life cleric, so... Well, I mean, you're a life cleric, so it's different for you. No, the life cleric is an extra three, basically. Yeah, but for your spell casting modifier, I don't think you add your, your proficiency. For cast modifier is wisdom plus proficiency, right? No, I think no. It's, no, it's just your your main stat. Like for me as well, I get plus four okay, in my okay. spells. I see. Yeah, but when you do an attack, you obviously add your proficiency, but not with like. I see. I see. Stuff. I'm not used to the D five, unfortunately. That's right. Thank you. Uh, anyone else hurt? Are you hurt, Tony? How are you doing? Um, I'm okay. I have just three wounds. Okay. Well, you healed me. Let me heal you. Let's see. I'll give you a cure wounds level one just to show my gratitude because I haven't been touched thanks to you guys. <laughs> Here you go. Seven Ray gives you 11 HP. Thank you. Oh, don't thank me. Thanks, Seven Ray. This fight was quite tiring. Yes. <laughs> I am pooped. But we should press on while the sun is up. Yeah, it's uh, roughly a 2.15 now. Mm. So you guys are catching your breath and uh, looking at each other. And uh, wow, that was a big, 
chunk of work we had to do. Yeah. I'm a bit impressed because it was a lot more difficult than everything you have faced uh, so far. And uh, your self-confidence is a bit shaken and you wonder what's, uh, what's uh, le oh. lying ahead. I got almost no damage. I'm always overconfident. <laughs> okay. I mean, this was a hard fight, but we managed to pull through. Hmm. All right. Could you indicate? Oh, so you you arrived to the outskirts, uh, to the the border, um, outside part of, of the village. You you emerge in uh, something that is yeah. yes, around there. Uh, really change. Uh, can someone roll a perception check? Not me. Okay, we roll I'm it. Having... Yeah, not me. Uh, no, sorry. There was two dice. Count only the first one. So yeah. it's 15 plus 3, 18. Okay. Uh, again, here on uh, your left, meaning on the east side of uh, of uh, the map, you see uh, something uh, like uh, Earth was a bit disturbed. It looks oh, very similar to the, the first graph. No, the east part. East part. Yes. Uh... Uh, it looks again uh, like uh, one of those uh, shallow graves that you have seen uh, a few a few hours before. Hmm. I guess let's remove the shin bones. The bone collector. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, let's let's try to unearth it a bit. See if okay. it has anything on it. Cal, Cal wants to switch to his hammer rather than his sword for a moment while they're doing that. Hammer. Okay. Okay, so you dig, uh, you dig the grave. It's not very difficult to to extract uh, uh, the skeleton. Uh, it's uh, quite inert and a uh, bit the same look as the one before. <coughs> um, nothing particular on it. Okay. Yank the shin bone. Yeah. And you put it in your bag? Yeah, sure. So now, right now I have like three shin bones in my bag. Okay. Soon start rattling. <laughs> yeah, they they will when it when when it gets dark. I'm pretty sure they will hit me in the back <laughs> of the head or something. <laughs> All right. So, uh, where do you want to proceed next? <sighs> well, we are getting directions from the. Yes, indeed. So the the tree is uh, the, the direction he indicated you is uh, at the eastern side of a village where you see uh, some kind of uh, the first uh, road cross. So basically here. No 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 the first one no. the first one. This one. Yes. Okay. So yes, we proceed there, and so, we. Uh, yeah. I'm quite curious. Once we get to this area i just want to have a look at the uh this area yes the, so the you see the waves that are, are breaking against the, the what's left of the dock it looks uh, quite peaceful actually i'm not uh, besides all the the aspect that is um, in decay and uh, and uh, not usable uh, at the moment but um it, you have the sound of waves on the, on the, the, the smell of salt uh, from the sea. And you have maybe a few seagulls that are flying over, but that's, that's about it. Okay, so nothing to see. We just proceed toward the tree. Yes, as uh, you, you walk uh, further, it's not that far now. Uh, you see a big, big tree with uh, uh, beautiful berries, uh, red berries on the... Uh, Orange leaves. So seems this is the tree. Yes, it's uh, unmistakable. Uh, you 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 think it's uh, the Rowan tree? There, there are no other tree uh, like that um, close. But... Guys, remind me something because my memory is not the best one. Did they say the body was buried be beneath the tree, or not? I think so. I mean, do you see the body hanging from the tree? No, there's nobody hanging from the tree. Right, I think it was buried around the tree. Because I remember the details about her moving a big stone. So, I don't know. Let's, let's have a look around. Is there any 
Anything that uh, what big looks stamp like you want me to remind you because it's actually in the journal that you have read. Yeah, the journal. Yeah, I, I would like I would like to read that note again about the, the stone part was quite important. Okay, so uh, let me find it and uh, okay, you arrive to to the pages where you remembered you you read something about the big stone and it says like that. I was right. I showed the ancient-looking necklace El Del Mira was wearing to a merchant passing through, and it said it was a Nilmer artifact. I went to the marshes, and indeed, someone pH'd the Barrow Mound. The mm. Barrow Mound, and uh, can you make an uh, uh, intelligence uh, or wisdom, rather, wisdom uh, roll? Sure. Oh, it's lagging so much. Oh, there is it. Ooh, nice roll. Kevin, do you have any bonus? Yeah, I did 21. Ah, uh, but I don't see 21, sorry. Huh? I, I, I rolled it, but it was lagging. Ah, okay, so 21. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you are thinking, hmm, the Barrowmond. And you remember you have seen uh, in north your position when you were at the lighthouse, uh, a small mound uh, that was not exactly a hill, but that was uh, quite significant. Uh -huh. you, ah, maybe this is the, the Barrow Mound he, he's talking about. I think that's where we should be. So, lead to. so you, you, you connect between those two and you read again. Yes. I went to the marshes and someone pH'd the Barrow Mound. There's no way Edelmira could have moved the massive stone door sealing the tomb on her own. She must have had help. And if she was under a Nilemer curse, the others probably are too. So there is a, a actually like a catacomb or a, a... Yeah, I see. So probably her body was buried there, guys. Here you she mean, was just uh, killed. You mean in the Barrow Mound? Yes, but... that's my opinion. Uh, anyway, let's be... have a look around here. Yeah, but wouldn't she be walking around at night as well? Okay, so you you guys have a look around. Can someone throw a perception uh, to detect if there is anything? Sure. Uh, not really. <laughs> uh, uh, I can re-roll that. Yeah, you're a halfling. Ooh, it's working. So indeed, you find uh, again a small, uh, like a, a grave, a shallow grave, uh, close by the, the tree oh. where the earth was disturbed recently. So I pointed to the team. Ooh, this another... could be it. And it was yeah. disturbed recently. Let's have a look. Another grave, another bone. Yeah. So what so do you I, do grave? I ask. I ask Doran mm. to use his shovel to check what's under the... This the guy tomb. getting his hammer out again? Oh, okay. no, actually, I will just uh, stick with the sword for now. Okay. Okay, so as you guys uh, start to, to dig uh, the grave up, you find a human skeleton with a skew few scraps of clothing clinging to the bones. And you find a uh, battered uh, black ring of uh, iron around one finger. <gasps> That's the one. You, you, you guys were looking for a ring, right? Uh, but it's not an iron ring we were looking for. We were looking for a gold and silver ring. Uh, we're talking about my yeah. aunt's uncle. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Seems to be... Anyone has uh, some kind of uh, magic? Uh... Oh, I have Arcana. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I'm a magical girl. girl. I can do this. Leave it to the magical girl. Uh, can I add my thing? Okay, let me check something. Can I add saying throw or attack roll? No. Okay, so that's just a ten. Um, you think it's a, it brings some kind of uh, protection, a ring of protection? Oh, it's a magical ring, isn't it? Yes. And as you examine uh, cl more closely uh, the, the skeleton, 
uh, you feel uh, uh, a bit uh, very sad, suddenly very sad uh, in yourself. Uh, not shocked, but uh, you feel a lot of pain because yeah. you realize that the neck of the skeleton was broken. Oof. Oh, well, that's we found the witch. Is that the girl? Is he hanging? Yeah, that's the yeah, that's the girl. Yeah, this is probably the girl. If this is the girl, we we need to think about this because we were given one advice by somebody that we met before we we left to come here to that the it should be burned and cast into the sea. Yet, yeah, exactly. On the other hand, someone here with the journal seems to suggest that she was she's been wronged. Yeah, I don't know what to do. I think we should try to give a proper. Uh, blessing to this body and well do you want to bury it in the sea i think it's a good thing the people in this city were believing uh, mermaids were yeah i mean they were fishermen so i guess no. we should bury her bones in the sea uh and I'm, I'm also gonna share give it. yeah go ahead no. No, say, say, say. Uh, sorry, so I, I was also um, seeing how reckless Cal was. I'm gonna walk up to him and say, uh, I think this ring will protect you. <laughs> Please wear it. <laughs> Actually, I suggest, I was going to say, I suggest, despite that ring being a nice piece of jewelry, I think we should leave it with the body. Ah, uh, you think so? Mm, mm -hmm. I just think. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not. Very, I don't feel very easy stealing from this poor lady. But mm. it's up to you guys. Cal, Cal says, "Well, if we're going to help this town, maybe she would have wanted us to, to have it to help her, <laughs> lift the curse, and all of that." <laughs> all right. I see. I see. Let me ask Sarah Ray. Yeah, Sarah agrees. Okay, so as Cal puts the ring on himself, he suddenly he suddenly feel more confident, and as he has gained skill, and he gets uh, armor class uh, plus one. Oh, P plus one armor. Yes. Thank you very much. Oh. It's a ring of protection. Cal, uh, Cal nods thankfully to uh, to the rest of the group and says, "I'll try to uh, to do my part." Yeah, I think you're. I mean, we're serving a good purpose here. I don't think this this lady would mind if we borrowed the ring, and then once we're done here, we can. I guess. You know, at least it's of use to someone to free this cursed village. First things first. Let's move her body. Yeah, see. let's move her body. Although I'm afraid that she might actually be, well, okay. So you put the body, what do you guys do with it? I mean, there's a pier here, right? Not too far away. Yeah. I guess. Or, uh, yeah. I'm not sure if we want to throw him down the cliff. Uh, yeah, let's, let's go here. Yeah, let's, let's give her a nice burial at the pier or something. Are we considering actually following the the request of the person we met in town and burning the body? I, I don't know what to do. I think the least that we can do is yeah, rejoin her with the sea. I've heard of some creatures using a, a boat that is lit by fire and then... Oh, that's a good idea, actually. Oh, that they would have be a nice. special way of... Are there any boats nearby? No, you, you there was see, but, uh, when you went to the pier, uh, there, there was no nothing that looked uh, floating at all. Huh. I think I think we can build something. Yeah, maybe cut off part of the pier like and just boat. float it. Just we, we just need something to float, like just yeah. part of the pier. Maybe it's already broken. I mean, I can see it's broken a bit. It's I mean, uh, it's a good uh, good move. Just that the the pier in particular is is pretty rotten and. It's uh, like ah. a vestige of uh, what uh, had been a uh, pier. Well, we can check. We can check if there is any bed left in one of those houses. Yeah, beds or bed doors there. or something that can float. Yeah. Okay. Can I have a wisdom check by someone who has a bit of brain in the team? 
Uh, that's then not uh, me. I won't. Wisdom probably I'm the highest, I'm not sure. I am not smart nor wise. Okay, Tony already pulled it, so. <laughs> okay, 11, do we have better than that? Okay, uh, let me roll. I will guide you, Doran. You can roll a d4 yeah. plus. Oh, actually, no, I'm, I'm not. It's plus one only, sorry. It's constitution, that's fine. No, okay. okay. One and of course, and you guide me. It's uh, four, right? Yeah, D four. So it's seven. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> We're not good with these <laughs> solutions. Yeah. Uh, That's our guys. Okay. Okay. Mm, so Doran is uh, staring blankly into the void and has no particular idea. In regard to Tony, uh, she thinks, uh, well, uh, as stumbling about, mm, maybe it would take us uh, uh, six, uh, six, seven hours, I don't yeah. know, to assemble all, uh, all that we need. Or maybe just a basket or something, you know, just put the bones in a basket, and just yeah. make them float. I mean, the out of ideas here. Oh, that's not bad. Because uh, I just don't want to chuck the bones in the water, that's kind of lame. I like the idea of the floating, <laughs> burning, yeah. Okay, so you go, you guys go back to the, um, to the city uh, to scrounge for some wood? Yeah, or maybe just like, I don't know, if they had like a general's, I don't know, like a, a bakery or something where they have baskets or something. Okay, no, that's, uh, that's a good point. So tell me what direction you are going. You know, in the city. there are small houses here around this area. Uh, yeah, we just load them up. We have to go back to the Yeah, we we could just check one of these houses for something that we can put stuff into. Are then... we still just heading towards the, the carpenters? Is that still the current mission? Yeah, there's a carpenter somewhere. So yeah. maybe we can sort of look on the way there. Huh? I don't know, we'll probably be near the sea or the ships where, I guess, so it should be actually around this area. Yeah, let's yeah. try to find the carpenter then. Okay. So we're taking the bones with this, are we? Yeah. Or should we put them in the, the fancy bag we found? The bag of freshness, sure, <laughs> I guess. I don't know if that's a good idea or a bad idea. Well, I mean... Yeah. yeah. Put them in the bag. All right. So you are stuffing the, the bones uh, delicately inside the bag. Yeah. And, uh, it's a, bag? It's... Who will be carrying the bag? I mean, I can carry the bag. I guess it's okay. a little girl, so it's the bag. it's it's not supposed to be super heavy, I guess. Mm. Yeah, I can carry it. I have eleven strength. Oh, no, Alright, so looking for a carpenter. The temperature is uh, getting uh, slightly lower. Uh, it was a bit warm before. Now it's uh, comfortable. You, you have a feel uh, that uh, it's starting to be the end of the afternoon. Uh, the, the end of the afternoon is up. Uh oh. getting late yeah I mean I guess we can swing back like somewhere this way look for something and then I, I suppose we've seen the piers here as well so we can probably do the same there uh, yeah what time is it now about it's around a 3.20, something like that. If we move quickly, we should be able to do a few things and still make it back. Yeah. 7, 7.30 is our deadline, I guess. And while we're at the carpenter, we can look for a door or something for good old Patrick. If it's a carpenter, we might be able to craft some sort of a, you know, crude floating... Thing. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. 
could take a broken door right, and just put some uh, bones or, on top of it. Yeah. I mean, this is a ship. Like, the, this is a um, fishing village. There must be a shipwright or something. I guess the carpenter can do shipwright things as well. We might find a canoe or something. Some ship. Or something can device. Yeah, something. Sure. Let's get moving while we still have light. Yep. I agree. Okay. So, I take it that you are going back to the, the second street that is uh, south? Yeah. So probably yeah. somewhere like yeah, maybe yeah, yeah. go like a little bit fast. I okay. don't know. So, yeah, so you arrive to the, uh, the sort of um, circular uh, crossing that is. Uh, in... Oh, the roundabout? Yeah, the roundabout. Like here, okay. Then you are moving, yeah, you are here. Uh, proceed cautiously, moving south indeed. And you are going uh, from the left side or the right side? We want to check this area to see if there is uh, anything usable. Okay, so you arrive to the second pier around there, and uh, indeed you notice uh, with um, uh, a small uh, plate that is uh, hanging uh, on, a, on a piece of wall that it was a carpenter shop. Ah, perfect. Yeah. Bingo. The, the Bingo. roof on the walls have mostly uh, collapsed, and uh, and uh, you have a lot of debris. Can someone? Uh, uh, there are a lot of debris, but you see that it was indeed uh, the carpenter place. Uh, can someone do a perception check? Okay, I will roll it. Oh, twenty-one. Wow, yes, you are very surprised, but uh, you call your friends and uh, point uh, to a, a place that looks like uh, there are stairs um, actually going down. But there are many uh, debris uh, all over it. And you have said that it will take you a little under two hours to, to take everything out. Hmm. Right now, it's. Sounds good. Should forget that. Yeah. I'll get be done by. We should have... We should have enough time, yeah. Yeah, we're still fine. Okay. But we should be careful and stand watch while we're doing this and make sure nothing... Yeah, I'm watching because I can't help you guys. Yeah, I'll Me just too. watch. I will, if, if, if you don't mind, I will stay here watching because I don't think I can help very much. Maybe Doran and I can uh, take the heavy lifting. Yeah, yeah. thank you guys. Okay, so you guys are, are doing what exactly? Tell me how you organized. Well, uh, so Cal will be starting to try to clear the, the, the debris. Okay. Uh, I think Doran is maybe helping, and I yep. think the other two are standing and watch. Okay. So you have the big guys, on, uh, but they are, they are just two of you, so it will take uh, roughly two hours. Okay. Uh, the others are uh, on watch. Mm-hmm. Uh, let me roll for each hour to see uh, if something, anything happens. <laughs> That's fine. You managed to to remove uh, all the debris, and indeed, you see that there are stairs uh, going, uh, uh, leading to a, a small entrance into the basement. Let me change you the map. Okay. Uh, let's, uh... Okay, there is a new map, so uh, I hope you will see it. Just uh... eventually. Yes, it's black now, but we are there. Uh, let me see where it's supposed to be. Okay, so you go down the stairs that are roughly uh, here. And uh, you managed to uh, uh, actually arrive to uh, what is uh, indeed uh, some sort of workshop. You have uh, carpenting tools and planks and uh, a lot of uh, wood equipment, hammers and, uh, and uh, nails that could be actually uh, quite useful if you wanted to, to build something or to, to maybe uh, consolidate something or fortify something. Oh, yeah. This could be good to fortify stuff, yeah. You, we can do both things actually. Yeah. 
And uh, I would like uh, DC 14. On which stat? On perception. Okay. I hmm. can reroll. But it's it's very bad. dark here. So it's pretty yeah. dark indeed. It is indeed. I'll, uh, I'll light a torch. We have, we have torches, yeah, we can just light it. Light a torch and put it, see if I can find a place to prop it up so it doesn't, so I keep my hands free. So you do, you do see a lot of stuff. Sorry. So is our plan to build a door? What are we supposed to do? Uh, there is no door per se, but uh, you probably have enough material to, to build uh, quite a number of things uh, with this wood. Wood and nail and, um, and uh, things to sand and to carve and to, to cut. Huh. Shall one of us uh, or, or two of us work on a door and the other one or two perhaps take one of those barrels and try to convert it to some sort of a floating? Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking about. Just use the barrel as yeah. the as the yeah vessel, I guess. And then, yeah, I'll take one of the barrels up with uh, Tony. Okay. And then... that, that is uh, roughly uh, 5.30, huh? uh, I'd like to remind you. Okay. Uh, when you discover the, this place, uh, this room, it's uh, 5.30. Yeah, it's 5.30 now. Okay. I guess you guys can work on the door while we give the burial. Are we trying to build? Yeah, okay. Oh, I see. We're going to split the party, though. That might be dangerous. Mm. I mean, we can do the burial later, to be fair. We can stay all here and help you guys out if you need be. Let's all make the door together and then we can go around. Yeah. This, this box. All right. You haven't told me you all have dark vision because it's pretty dark. There is a bit of light filtering from the entrance uh, with the stairs, but uh, it's uh, pretty open. Uh, so oh. you have this light, but uh, that's about it. I mean, yeah. I can cast dancing lights if need be to light this place up. Raquel is going to light a torch as well. We have four torches I bought yeah, last I night, so that's... each of us has a torch. Actually. Yeah, that's, that's probably enough if we just light this place up. So how yeah, long I can we also cast me... light. And you have light, yeah. So how long do we estimate it would take us to construct the, the door that we were requested to to bring? Um it's not really your 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 skill of uh, your main skill or expertise maybe uh, three four hours we don't oh. know yet. That's going to be bad. Yeah, we might not be able to do it today. Definitely not. I have to spend the night here then. Uh, here? Uh, I mean, yeah. There is only one entrance. Yeah, we can defend this place probably. But we could also be trapped here. Yeah. There is no other way of, yeah. So this is just one room, right? There is no other like doors or anything around. Uh, maybe you have to, to search carefully. Well, I kind of want to make sure that, you know, we're not going to get surprised here. Okay. So... Contemplating, uh, contemplating spending the night, I think we should all search carefully. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I take it, so everybody roll. I agree. Roll, uh... Perception. Okay, Cal, you found 16. it. You find it. So you, you suddenly uh, uh, exclaim yourself, "Oh, I found it!" And you you find be behind. The, actually, this is a cupboard here. What is this? A cupboard. It moves. A closet. And uh, behind the closet, you see that uh, there is apparently a, a kind of a very thin uh, layer on a, a small uh, entrance, very likely. But see if any of the the uh, dust on the floor has been disturbed. No. No? Okay. No. Do we hear anything from the other side of the door? Ah, you can uh, put uh, your... Uh, you can remove uh, the... the closet and, uh, and check uh, what is behind it. You don't hear anything from there, right? Uh, you cannot listen because there is a, a big layer. At the moment, no, you cannot listen. 
Are we trying to move this together, Doran? That's the thing. If you want to just spend the night here, maybe it's better to leave it closed and, you know, put maybe like, I can put my armor, like, you know, outside to make it hard to open this thingy, like, you know. I feel it... personally more comfortable to know what's behind there before we, before we think about sleeping. Yeah, me too. Okay. Can we close it after we open it? Like, is the door like uh, still in good shape or is it broken? Like, if you open it, you open uh, it. I don't you don't know, um, uh, Doran, because uh, there is a big closet uh, in front of it, but uh, you, you have seen that uh, you can glance with your eyes that uh, there is apparently uh, maybe an opening behind. Okay, let's open it then. Let's move that closet. Nice catch, Carl. I think you are a better adventurer than we are. I, I just felt got lucky. I, I don't know, but I mean, let's see what's behind it. Maybe we won't think it's such a good idea after all. No. <laughs> Luck is an important part of being an adventurer. <laughs> I, think, I, I think that's a, that's a, a wise, wise words. Here is the thing. Do we want to make the door first, then check it? Or because if we check it and there's something there, maybe we'll need to run away. And just yeah, exactly. Let's away. check. Let's so, check what's behind cupboard number one first. Okay. 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 Fine. So try to move the the uh, cupboard. So uh, as you move uh, slightly the cupboard, uh, you suddenly hear two screaming uh, creatures <sighs> that are rushing towards you and are pushing uh, the the closet. Everybody rolls for initiative. Uh, oh it's, no! It's two of those hey, things I again. Won't. I won't say I told you so, but I told you so. I guess <laughs> ignorance is bliss. At least let's make the look first. Okay. So, who is first? Doran is 20? No, 9? Nine. 9. I'm rolling. Vicky, right, 8. And I don't see Tony. Tony, 18. Okay. So, Tony, you are at the same level as the two uh, hor horrifying uh, creatures that are rushing uh, past the, the closet. They look like actually uh, uh, girls, maybe uh, the same size as uh, Becky Ray. Uh, probably uh, mm -hmm. they used to be, uh, you, you, you don't really have the time to, to, to see, but. Uh, uh, to, to you, they are the same as uh, as Becky Ray in, uh, in terms of uh, stature, probably a teenage girl, but they are not teenage at all. They are monsters with They're long monsters. hairs and they are screaming and they are rushing uh, to you. And, uh, will they be able? Will huh? they be able? Will they be able to? If I step forward, will they be able to protect the team? Um, you can take it as an action. Yes, probably. They will so... rush to you. Yeah, I then I I will cast on myself a protection from evil and try to tank them. So that's uh, one action for the cast on another action. And then to... I, I, I my question is with my movement, mm. can I have enough? I don't know how large is the closet. There, there will be enough space for them to uh, rush the team. Yeah, you probably, the closet has probably uh, uh, open uh, enough space for two square. So that's 10 feet, let's say. Well, then, yes, I I try my best. I cast this protection from evil on myself, and I step forward and brace for uh, for their attack. I think you, no, you have, a, the, you have a, an action for attack. I oh, know you are moving, sorry. No, so I, I, I'm a casting a spell, so that's my action. The action is casting protection from evil, and then I will move there. OK. So the two ghasts are going to attack you. Each one has a, a, a 1d20. It was 2d20. Uh, and they miss probably because uh, well, bite plus three and close plus five. Hold on. So 16 plus five, that's a 21. How does it go? He has a disadvantage on me because I have protection from evil. Okay, so uh, let me roll one more. Uh, no, that's not a 100. Okay, misses. Good. Next is Cal. So Cal, you have those two ghasts that are uh, uh, 
bullying um, Tony. Say, well, I was warned not to not to charge, but I, I I'm can't bullying help myself. them. I can't I'm help. bullying them. I can't help it. I have to, and I, I charge whichever one uh, looks like it's uh, closest to um, you know to the as far as through the door. Okay, so uh, the, the one you want is, let's call it the, the right one, and uh, the other one is the left one. Okay, so the right one, I suppose. Okay. Um, so I am going to attack with um, Reckless Attack and Great Weapon Master. Okay. All right, hang on a second here. Okay, here we go. Oh, well, that's a crit, so I'll take that. That's good. Okay. Um, so the total damage there is um, uh, 27. Mm, 27, okay, return. The, the gas is still furious and uh, I'm ready to tear you apart, guys. Uh, it's damaged, but uh, still uh, quite healthy. Dorian, your move. Uh, okay, I'm gonna attack the right one, I guess, with my halberd. Yeah. And I'm um, holding it with both hands. Yeah. So it's gonna be attack, which is gonna be 20 plus 5. Okay, let me do that. And it's, um, it's a 12. It's a 12. It's missed. You are about <laughs> misses. Yeah, uh, it's me today. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, Bikure, you're ah, okay. Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm holding it with both hands. So I'm gonna attack with the other side of the weapon again. So one more attack. So another one. Okay. Same modifier. It's a 19. I guess. It goes, goes through. Yeah, it goes through. So one d four. And uh, one d four and the same modifier for the attack. So it's plus three. It's a six. Okay, so she takes more damage, but uh, that doesn't seem to move her uh, so much. Okay. All right, Bekire, your time to shine. Um, shine indeed. Uh, so it's quite dark in there, I suppose. I'm gonna light the place up mm -hmm. uh, with uh, fiery fire. So both of those little ghastly girls need to make me a dex saving throw. Okay, so, all right. Uh, okay, so one is a, is a crit, so maybe she will uh, send it back to you, and the other one is a 10. Wait, it's a 14 plus 7, isn't it? Where do you see? No, no, no. Uh, each, one each is doing, uh, one is oh. doing 20, and the other one is doing 7. Okay, well, the 7 one fails and uh, that one is going to be well i'll le le let you choose which one is that and it will be surrounded by let's see blue light okay and has uh, well any attack against it has advantage okay so it's permanent advantage against the shining girl Okay, and so the shining girl is the one that was in front of uh, you guys, and the one that has uh, attacked yeah. uh, was attacked first. Sure, and I step back, and that's my turn. Okay, Tony, your time. Sure, I will stand by my position and just do an attack to the one that was already damaged. Okay, roll for it. <laughs> Miss. Okay, uh, but it's at advantage, so you can roll another uh, one. It's the one with the shining. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, oh, I think so I hit. You're, you're hitting the shiny girl, and uh, it goes through. Okay, the damage will be this six blue joining. Six, six. That's enough uh, for her to collapse on the floor and become just a. Uh, uh, Dust on the racks. Nice. <laughs> I'm invincible. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, the other one is actually doing a stench attack. Any creature of a certain stone within five feet of a gas must succeed a DC 10 constitution saving throw. Uh, I suppose it's you, Tony. Uh, it, it, it's already within five feet because if it is within five feet, I have an opportunity attack against it when it enters within five feet of me. Uh, no, it's uh, those that are closer to Tony. Tony was in front of uh, both of them. Okay. What kind of attack is this one? It's a stench. It's a, they, they've been uh, for so long inside of this uh, confined oh, space. Oh, I see, see. It's like uh, it's a stench. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so I have to do a... Uh... Constitution DC 10. They had bad breath. <laughs> Only Tony or do I need to do it too since I was up front? Uh, yes, probably you too, actually. It's Everybody okay. who is within five feet, yes. I have to roll Constitution. Yeah. Uh, that's a save for Carl, Tony. I'm rolling. Failed. Right. So for Tony, which is a bit barbarian on a guy, well, 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 they stink a bit, but not that much. But Tony, it's it's unbearable, and uh, oh, you, you uh... fail your saving throw, and you are poisoned until the start of your of uh, the gas next turn. Mm -hmm. I see. So you're poisoned. Okay, uh, next is Cal. Cal, you've got one uh, gas that is left. All right, I'm going to attack it recklessly, and it smells so bad. <laughs> I have to kill. I just have to kill it. Um, okay. All right, so it's reckless attack, great weapon master, um, minus five to hit, but advantage. Okay. Uh, does a fifteen hit? It goes through. Right, I'm gonna do one my second attack just to see if I happen to get a critical. Nope. Okay, so I'll take the first doesn't matter. I'll take the smaller damage, twenty-two. Okay. Twenty-two damage. So the, the small, uh, miserable uh, gas uh, that used to be uh, a teenage girl probably is taking a lot of pain with uh, your twenty-two slash, but is still uh, standing and ready to fight. Okay, that's it for me, Doran. Um, okay, I'm gonna try and attack it again with uh, the halberd. Yeah. So, and actually, I realized that I haven't been adding my proficiency bonus, so I should have been okay. adding plus seven, not five, actually. Okay. Bonus. So I'm gonna roll one d20 plus seven, attack, and wow, my luck, <laughs> uh, twelve. All right. Does this hit or not? No, it doesn't hit. You you are really barely uh, scratching uh, air cloth. Yeah. Taking part of the, the <clears throat> racks, but that's okay. One more attack with the other side of the weapon, which is going to be 23. There you go. Yeah, and this looks like a, a, a super blow that you, you bring to the gas. Let's see the damages. Uh, it's uh, three damage, and yeah, the last one was actually I rolled it wrong, so, so it's only three. <laughs> As everybody was expecting you to uh, behave the gas. It just uh, take out uh, some of the bones on her face, and that's about it. Okay. Okay, and uh, as a bonus action, I'm just gonna uh, prepare uh, my uh, Sandros Smith feature. My my spell action, sir. Sandros Smith spell as a bonus action. Bake your okay. Still standing, huh? Uh, yeah. I guess I use my last pew pew spell to get rid yeah. of this lady. Used to be lady. Let's see. Uh, I'll use 2d4, the favored by Samurai. Ray. Uh, not oh, really. Oh, no. Not really. Nope. So you are going. Uh, you are doing a lot of special effects, and there is a lot of light <laughs> around you. And, uh, I keep uh, here. Rays and a lot of stuff. Everybody is very impressed, but nothing is happening really. <laughs> yeah, that girl is really elusive. Okay. He's very sweet. Tony, your chance to okay. get even with your poison. Sorry, your poison. So let's. So see. I'm rolling at disadvantage. Yeah. yeah, I'm attacking at disadvantage this person. Yeah. So this will be my first and my second. Yeah, I missed. Ouch. Yeah, you missed. So the, the ghast is a, a kind of uh, retreating inside the room. Uh, 
And actually, I could uh, uh, unveil what's. Uh, she's uh, getting uh, closer to the the chest on the. You see, there's a chest in the left corner. Yes, and uh, she's uh, she's uh, in front of it on the on the right side. Can I do an off? Oh no, she's just retreating. Okay, never mind. Mm. Uh, okay, so she is moving away. It's a Carlstern. Have... Yes, Carlstern. She's behind the table. Um. Okay. So I'm going to um advance on her, but as I'm advancing, if if you allow this, I, I want to say, um, if you if you if you can understand me and turn oh. around and surrender, we will stop. And then otherwise, I, I'll attack. So you, you, you use, uh, you have uh, two actions, uh, if I understand. You have one that is talking and one that is moving. Uh, I'm trying to use sort of a short utterance as I'm moving without spending an action doing it, which it's totally at DM discretion if I can do that while I'm covering the 15 so or feet. Um, but otherwise, if, if, if you think that's too much, I think I'll just attack. That's a bit too much. I okay, think. yeah, no worries, no worries. Um, I'm just going to move in and I'm going to try to finish her. Okay, so you move in contact on the left side or the right side of the... I'm going to try to follow the same path that she took. Okay, so that's on the left side. Okay. Okay, roll for it. Uh, I'm just going to use a regular attack. Yes, it, it goes through and it does uh, 14 uh, slashing damages. And uh, you you bring again the final blow to a, a creature for the day. Nice. Yeah. And now you really feel proud. You still say nothing, but you feel prouder and prouder of yourself. Oh, the song this guy is awesome. Song. Well, I'll tell you, I'm proud. Good job. Really yeah. nice. Yeah. That last girl think... was not getting hit. I think we should check whether there are no more surprises here. Okay. Yeah. Check that area as well. You do a perception check uh, to, to try to detect uh, what's wrong? Yes. Twenty-two. Okay. As you observe uh, a bit more of the room, and I suppose that uh, Becky Ray is helping you by casting a, a famous. Uh, oh yeah, dancing lights, of course. Inoffensive uh, light. Yeah, it's uh, still there. That, uh, it's a, it's a basic room that looks like a bit uh, like a children uh, hideout. Uh, there is a small table with chairs around uh, on around it to sit in the middle of the room, and uh, in the back, uh, no, not in the back, on the side there is a shelf full of uh, wooden toy uh, that are leaning against the wall, and there is a, a small wooden crate, uh, almost uh, completely covered with green fungus. Uh, that uh, she she was in front of uh, um, by the end of a, of the room. You don't detect uh, anything uh, particular or secret passage or anything else. Great. Mm. Well, technically, we could barricade ourselves here, right? This might actually be the safest place. I don't yeah, know. but take out the fungus thingy. Well, I don't want to sleep with the fungus. Good point. And then we can just pile up a lot of stuff yeah. around. We can bring these, uh, yeah, we can bring these out of the room and barricade ourselves here. And yeah. keep... um, it seems like the ghoul girls couldn't come out of here. Probably the skeletons won't be able to come in here if we barricade this one. And I suppose it's getting late. I would like uh, a DC 16 or a DC 14 uh, intelligence or survival or wisdom. So intelligence or survival. Uh, intelligence or wisdom. Yeah, no. Failed. Uh, what was it? Uh... Survival 14. Okay. So uh, Cal is interrupting you and he's saying, guys, guys, be careful. This uh, fungus is, uh, is very nasty. Guys, guys, be careful. It. This fungus, it's very nasty. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if, if we touch it, it releases a dark green cloud of spores. 
on the, the room will be filled very, very quickly. Uh, bugger. It's called the Grave Mold. Grave Mold. It's extremely dangerous to living creature. Trust me. I've seen people affected by that. Yeah. At first, it looks like there is nothing uh, happening to them. But then they slowly go crazy until they, 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 they become, they see hallucination, they, they see vision. And then it's very extremely difficult to cure them. I've it's seen fun for a little while. But... And I guess oh, we you're can't pretty really knowledgeable. Burn it. Uh, so what should we do with this one? Maybe just go out, close that, close it thingy again, and just uh, spin the mind in the other room, the front door. Hmm. Covering the fungus with a blanket will help, asking him Carl. I'm afraid if we touch it with anything, we could release the spores. Well, how about burning hmm. it then? Yeah, I was going to ask that. You know. Is there how many of these um these uh piles of fungus do we see? Is it just one or are there many? Uh it's really covering the, the crate. The crate, I see. So only the crate? So what's in that crate? It must be feeding on something that's inside the crate. Anyways. Well hmm. I'm we could try. Somebody had oil at one point, right? Uh, maybe yeah, if we, we have oil, oil yeah. nearby without touching it. We could throw yeah, a torch, do that. shoot shoot a fire to it, and while we're in the other room, and quickly get up the stairs while it burns until it's finished. I don't know if it. Will. What the whole place burn if we do that? <laughs> because it's uh, very old. I know. Yeah, it's called barn. Oh, uh, why don't Only you know what we can do? We call the actually. Without touching the crate, we could cover this area with these and maybe the table to make it sure we don't touch it, and we can live here. Why are you staying in that room and not the front one? I still don't. Yeah, we, we can stay in the front room and just. Or we can stay here. You know, yeah. Barricades. No stay, yeah, just barricades the stairs and okay. put the closet back, and that's it. Yeah. Remember, we have a lady in our. Uh, with us, we have the remains of the witch with us. Remember yeah. that. We might have time to finish that burial before evening and still make it. What time is it around six now? Yeah, yeah it's around six. Yeah, I think it's, it's yeah. it let's, would be nice if we did it. the burial before, like just at sundown, and then you know, we'll just before. We absolutely sundown. have to. Yeah, we absolutely have to, guys. So yeah, let's we, do we, that. Got the, we got the we got the burial anyway. So let's do it. Uh, we're close to the close to the water anyway. Should only take a you know five minutes to get to the water. Yeah. Yeah. If nothing else goes wrong. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, we should build something that could help. Uh... No, no, we have the barrel here. We just oh, put just... her inside the barrel. Yeah, just put her inside oh, yeah, the barrel and then bon voyage. Yeah, let's do this. So you exit the you take the barrel, you put her in the barrel. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, and you go outside the village. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, outside to the village, sorry. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so I'll move you to the new map. Oh, we are here. Yeah, you are here. So yes, it's just a few minutes, or three minutes to, to go out. There's no no big issue. It's probably uh, now 6.05. But indeed, you see the, 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 the sun uh, starting to sink uh, on the horizon. Mm -hmm. Hurry up and just... Yeah, let's hurry up and do this. Yeah. So we prepare for the burial, and actually I would like to do a prayer Yeah. for this poor lady. Okay. Not a spell, just I, I will pray for her. Okay. So you guys pray, but that's a good move. Yeah, I, I will help her too, I guess. Yeah, I, I have my holy symbol as well, so I'm going to use it and pray for her. So uh, to reward you for your prayer on your attention, uh, everybody who has uh, what stat we are going to use? Uh, let's use uh, wisdom. Do you have religion? Anybody has religion? I have religion. I do. Yeah, me too. Okay. I do. So uh, I will allow uh, a wisdom uh, a DC ten 
plus uh, religion bonus. And everybody who goes above uh, 11 will gain one hit point. Mm. I'm a heathen, so I'll sit this one. <laughs> It's never too late to believe. <laughs> okay, my... Ryan is not convinced. Yeah, as always. It's a wisdom save or what? Uh, Let's just check. Yes. Uh, wisdom Can check just... plus uh, your religion. Bonus. Ah. Okay. I... Well, religion is religion, but yeah, okay. And then I should have been a five, but it doesn't make any difference. Okay. Got Tony it. is blessed with a uh, prayer. Oh, wow. And Bekire reaches a 20 uh, plus four, so I'll give her a two hit point. That's temporary, right? Uh, yes, yes. That's okay. just to revive you. Woohoo. Like I need it. But thank you. All right. So you guys have prayed and uh, have, uh, have uh, converged in spirit uh, to the gods and uh, offered a proper burial to the uh, to the witch teenager or so-called witch. Mm, yeah. Uh, what type of burial is it exactly? Could you describe the scene? We so we put the remains in the barrel. Mm. Then we need to make sure we can, I guess, Skull can use one of his torch. And mm. uh, we put the, the barrel in the sea. Mm. And before it leaves us, while we're praying, mm. I guess we say, may you rest in peace. And may you, may you be part of the sea again. And mm. then we torch the barrel. Might need a little bit of oil too. Yeah, yeah, put a put a point on the rope. Okay. As the the barrel is uh, slowly drifting away uh, from from the, the shore, uh, the flames are, are growing uh, higher and higher from it. Uh, it's floating, and uh, it's a kind of a very strange uh, uh, bright light as the, the sun is going down, and that's a, a, a sight that uh, impact your heart and mind and spirit uh, and you are filled with contentment because as a religious person it seems the right thing uh, for you to do yeah um, yeah it feels okay. good yeah and then it's a uh, five six um, let's say eight minutes have passed and it's uh, now uh, 6 25 and it's really starting to get dark okay. time to hide ourselves guys So we have like three hideouts. Do we want to do the carpenter, the lighthouse, or do we want to risk going to the cabin? I would vote against the cabin. It's okay. Just, it would too long to go to too much of a chance we for encounter when we're weakened. That's true. Okay, Personally, so Personally we... I like the lighthouse more because I don't like being trapped there. But I mean we are trapped in the lighthouse as well, aren't we? Uh, we can run away. Yeah, like we have a rope. So. Oh, okay. So we can go down if. Uh... I don't think we can get trapped because it, so there was debris and we removed the debris already, and there is like there was already no door or something to close and trap us to there. I think we should just go to the carpenter place again, and we need to make the door still. We didn't make the door. The... We can hide in the carpenter. I'm just feel a bit uneasy being stuck in the underground. I think we might be fine. It's just a personal feeling. Okay. Uh, I think it will be fine, but that's a good decision. I'm um, I'm easy either way. I was thinking maybe we can, but we don't have time anymore. Yeah, let, let's just do the carpenter. Going back to the cabin takes, I think, uh, 40 minutes, uh, according to the DM, so yeah. No, it's just here. Like, okay. The carpenter should be just here, so. I don't know the cabin. Yeah, the cabin oh, the cabin. Place. Yeah, right? No. The, the, so, cabin, no, so the cabin is too far. far. I'm not yes. sure it's, uh, yeah. it's a good idea. It will take yeah, exactly. So just Every time we went to the cabin, we got attacked, so no. Yeah. Yeah, the carpenter. Okay, we stay in the carpenter then. Okay, so you guys go back. Do you, do you want to tell me what you do with uh, the carpenter uh, place? 
I'm moving you back to the workshop. Just I think probably we should move everything this thing. here. Yeah. Yeah, everything. <laughs> Except this thing, Except of course. Yeah. Uh, do you see the map? I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, And we also put the closet back here, so it's closing better. Okay, so you put back the closet indeed. Everything else goes here. So you barricade with uh, everything you find. Uh, yeah, I can take it. Uh, so time to barricade everything and, and really to, to get ready. And I suppose you put uh, quite some energy doing it. It's around uh, 7, 7, 10. And here you hear uh, the bell ring. It's very, very clear. You can hear uh, from uh, apparently uh, quite some distance. You have the bell ring three times. Bell? From the charge. Yeah. Uh, it's mm -hmm. a bell that is a large bell that is ringing in the distance on the three times. About what time did it ring? Seven. Seven p.m. Okay. Who rang the bell? I guess there's someone there then. Huh. Okay. And, and, and. Somebody does a perception check. I'll do it. Okay. Bekire, can you do uh, the perception check at an advantage? Oh, I can try. Not awesome with perception checks. All right. Nice. You feel in the bag something is moving and crackling. <laughs> oh, what, bag? what bag? We will stop here if you don't mind. Yeah. Yeah, okay. let's stop here. Okay. Uh, well, so I'm sorry, you feel in the bag. What bag? Uh, the bag of bones. Yeah. Uh, is that one that you have been collecting? Yeah, I've been collecting three bones, yeah. I guess they started to be on restless, yeah. Great job, everybody. Giles, thank you so much. This is a lot of fun. Good job. Yeah, yeah, but, but, but the module is very fun. It's very small and it's a lot of fun. Really, really, really fun. Yeah, good job, guys. It was a funny adventure. Yeah. But I think we die next session. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I keep my bedrooms, yes, this is going to happen. Like, seriously. Yeah, yeah. Be careful, this uh, guy. This module is uh, is is uh, is another yeah, level yes. from uh, the previous one. The previous one was a uh, rather uh, uh, beginner level. Yeah, this is challenging, but it's fun. Hmm. It's fun, and uh, yeah. What's important is that we have fun, and we will keep having fun until we die. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, exactly. And then, by the way, using Zoom was a lot better. Discord had a lot of issues last time. Yeah, yeah. It's difficult to follow. Yeah. 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 All right, guys. What uh, what uh, what other session is good for you? Oh, you mean when to play next? Yeah. I'm. Well, I'm fine with Sunday unless you want to play in the weekend. Yeah. We, I suspect they will reopen mm. by next week. Yeah. So, in which case, I would like to play in two weeks rather than next week to help my wife taking care of the kids. Uh, you mean uh, next week, uh, next Monday, they, are, they will reopen? Uh, I mean, we will play on Sunday, I guess. If we call to play the next adventure in two weeks from now, so instead of the 31, the um, Sunday 7th, the 7th. Ah, okay. It's perfect for me. I Maybe I can stretch the 31, but I don't want to overstress my wife. I see, I see. Okay. Um, okay. That's all totally fine with me. Does it, does it help at all, though, if we do an evening session, like starting at 9 for, for shorter That's, sessions? I can do any day. Yeah, starting from okay. 9, I can do really any day there is no problem because that's when my daughter is sleeping so i don't feel guilty with I my can, life i can really do that as well i just can't quite go to midnight but i could go to 11 maybe even 11 30. 
Uh, yeah, I, I would like to clear something up. So basically, Tom, you're saying that you only have a problem with Sundays, right? Like next Sunday. No, I have a problem playing. 